Oh, hi. Oops. Hello there. Who's out there? Um, am I talking to the internet yet? I think that's how this works, right? Hello, internet. Uh, who do we have in the chat? Hi. <laughs> um, hello, there we go. I'm starting to catch up. It's like 15 second delay. It's like always, I just never know. Like I'm just like have this deep, dark existential fear that I'm going to be talking into the void. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm, you know, I'm, it's good to know I've got you. Um, hello, it's so great to see you. familiar faces. Game of Thrones Live, uh, Bacon, uh, X Matrix Gamer, thanks, and not a bot. Thank you for being here to mod as always. Hello, Pocket Ghoul, my clip person who does lots of great clips, Ascension Ruba. Hello. Um, it's glitching a bit. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we will address that as we go. It should not happen. Um, okay, I think it's on your end. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's your problem, not mine. Don't make this mine. Anyways, um, I'm so excited to have you guys join us. Uh, we're going to do another stream of Alley Noir, and uh, we've done two parts already, and you should check those out at my YouTube channel or on the Twitch video on demand. They're really cool. Uh, but on my channel, uh, we do story analysis, and so we're going to do some really interesting stuff. Uh, I'm just going to throw up my card so that you guys remember who I am in case you have forgotten. Uh, but I am Rog, uh, Rogbot, as, uh, as known, and uh, I'm not at PAX West today, so if you are or if you have made the pilgrimage up to see a lot of the other Connor Army members up there, that's really cool, but I am here uh, in Los Angeles, not PAX, so... Hi. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys are, are not disappointed in that. Uh, but um, I'm so glad to have all of you guys here. And uh, we're going to do this playthrough with story analysis like we've been doing uh, in the past. And um, we're going we're gonna to have a good time. Uh, I want to start uh, by introducing our two guests. So I'm going to do that thing where I switch the camera and, uh, and you guys can meet them. So... Without further ado, yeah. as I pop in the corner, corner. Uh, hello, this is Melinda and uh, Michael. Hi, Hi guys. Uh, and I'm going to throw up the card first uh, in the spot of hello. where I usually stand. Here is Michael over there. Michael's a writer and a podcaster. You can follow him on Twitter. Anything hello. That. They'll hear you. You can, you can shout out to the peeps. Hi, guys. Hello, peeps. <laughs> Sorry, I'm also, it's very, it's not that early, but I have a problem. Um, for Pacific time, it's early. So for the rest of the world, it's very late. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. This is this is not. Uh, I mean, this is never a oh, yeah. for anyone. Um, and then this is Linda. Hello. I am also a writer and a podcaster. So. Yes, and these guys are writing partners. Mm -hmm. As you can see me kind of swimming in here, my head like just in between the two graphics. <laughs> um, but uh, I am so glad that you guys are able to join us uh, for this Eleanor cast. Mm -hmm. I know that there's probably some echo. There's probably people saying that. Echo. Um, um, but I am going to scoot over there, and we'll, we'll talk some more. So, without further ado, here comes the best part of this cast. The scooting? Me moving what seemingly is a distance of miles. Oh, my. In a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah. No. Are you such... <laughs> Are I'm you like, there was, not, there was nothing smooth about that process. That's there okay. Was just, <laughs> he thinks you're the Flash. I'm convinced you're a witch. It's fine. Are you Bartholomew uh, Allen the Flash? Okay, that is not his name. Uh, it is. It is, actually. You know what? It's you're right. Very short for Bartholomew. That's fair. And you know what? But I guess it's when you say it that and way. And then they curse his and later, like, also name him <laughs> Bartholomew. Too much lower lip. Yeah. All right. We won't just make mouth noises at you guys the whole time we No, I, I, then that's what oh, I brought you guys oh. here for. Mouth so. noises? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, ah, that's, yeah. that's pretty much, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much uh, what I did. If you uh, ask our podcast producer, all I do is make mouth noises. Oh my god, that's true. <laughs> it's mostly what I do. Yeah. Like, I'll just get real close to the mic and go. That's he the a really it's weird amount. Because <laughs> he does one of those things where, you know, he's like, Man, I was doing the editing. I gotta tell you, too many mouth noises. I was right. like, not enough mouth noises. Note taken. Yep. <laughs> all right. First of all, thank you guys all for joining us on this Saturday afternoon. So, so glad that you joined us afternoon. It's not even afternoon here. I don't even know where I'm getting from on that. Space and time is relative. <laughs> it's it's oh, all yeah. an issue. Um, but yes, uh, we are with two writers, Melinda and Michael. Um, why don't you guys tell us a little bit? You guys are writing partners, right? Yes, yes. we are writing partners. I'm also in the chat. I'm not just texting. What? Don't worry. 
I should be in the chat. I am Pokemon going, though. No, not really. Thank you so much for the cheer, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yay! Uh, Ooh. Totally appreciate it. Oh, yay! Cheers. Excellent. Um, but yes, you guys also uh, do a podcast together. Um, yes. And what's your subject matter? Uh, the infamous Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> you you guys run an entire podcast on Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Well, we're wrapping up an entire podcast. Okay. We are. Lecter, yeah. Uh, there's uh, in a few months. Yeah. yeah so so there's only so much you know Hannibal Lecter out there, but at the same time, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like we were kind of talking about this a little bit uh, before we jumped in, but what's kind of rad about Hannibal is that when you think like Freddy, Chucky, Jason, you know, like the big, the big great pinhead, the big mm. greats, Hannibal Lecter's face kind of always makes its way, you know, like on that, that billing as well. Cool mask. Exactly. And for something that was truly like born out of like fake true crime writing, it's was the first uh, horror movie to win an Oscar for Best Picture with Silence of the Lambs. Like right. there's a lot yeah. of weird history that goes into this incredibly iconic character who then we now have two different generations who have two different Hannibals, like definitive Hannibals yeah. between the television show and the films. So, like, I don't know. We like talking about it. So. <laughs> no, no, that's awesome. Actually, no, uh, Hannibal on NBC was one of my, like, favorite shows oh, rad. when I was on air. It's, mm-hmm. it's such a, a cool piece of art. Super violent and gory yes. and, you know, not recommended for anyone who's queasy. No. Honestly, some of the... Uh, the most horrifying running. Actually, yeah. um, I had this. I got this DVD signed oh. by Brian Fuller. Oh the whole cast man, at some that's point. rad! So I was. Uh, it's a very excited prime position. And oh if you're tuning in right now, one of you lucky people will not win this because I'm not giving this up. But, you know what? That's fair. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, that's you know. It's like if you're giving that away, I'm just gonna steal it. Yeah, I know, right? I, no Michael's thievery. just gonna grab it and run. <laughs> we are not um, here to thief. <laughs> He might be here to see um, one of you lucky. Little... One of you lucky people will get to watch me hold it. Uh, that's that's really where this comes from. <laughs> what a treat! <laughs> Look at how the light glints off the signatures that I got. <laughs> <laughs> you can have oh. I promise this coffee is almost done. I swear. No, 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 no. It's, we yeah. welcome eating on our stream because we oh, enjoy no. sustenance. Oh, good. Um, and Malcolm. Oh, uh, thank Malcolm. you so much for resubscribing, Edwara. I'm so glad to have people who are oh, uh, who, who are part of this thing. I'm just going to go grab my water. We have a big oh, yes. hydrate community here. They're very excited about hydration. Yay! Um, mm. But thank you guys all for, for joining us and for hanging out in the chat. Uh, we're going to have uh, fun uh, playing this today. So um, have any of you guys... Uh, first of all, tell me you guys game at all? I do. Not a lot. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. We love having a mix here. Yeah, yeah I'm, I, I've completed a total of two games. Uh, what, what two games? That's uh, what I want to know. Diablo 3. Yes. Okay, I've completed that before. Star Trek Online. Yes. Oh, yeah. Which is like okay. the only game I play religiously. Yeah. At okay. the moment. Yeah. I just I love it because yeah. I'm a great big nerd and I get to be a Star Trek. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we work out of my home office and I've got my Xbox there. And it's so, your fault a little bit. Yeah, it's, oh, it's absolutely my fault. Yeah. I take full full credit for getting you addicted to Star Trek Online. Yeah. Um, my character, Brian Falar. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, started um, there. All my ships are named yeah. after. Uh, recurring Fuller actors, so I've had the the USS Korstecki, the mm-hmm. USS Mickelson, obviously. Oh yeah, one of my starters. The Esparza, uh, I know, was in there. Yes, the Esparza is an old favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. I was flying my my temporal dreadnought as the the USS Obi. Oh, nice! I like good that. Good disco reference. Yeah, uh, sorry. I finally got my Walker class, so I've got, a little, got a Shenjo called the Yo. Oh man, uh, Kapla! There you go. Really, yeah. Sorry, no Klingon on this show. I apologize. Yeah, there is a lot. There is there is <laughs> oh, okay. a lot going on there, but it's okay. That's um, okay. <laughs> I, I'm really excited about the new Patrick yeah. Stewart coming back to do a thing. Oh my god! Yeah. Up, but yes, uh, mm-hmm. it's uh, it's fun. Star Trek and Jack Ranch was a big thing growing up for oh, me, yeah. and I'm sure for many people. Yeah. Um. I'm a great big Star Trek disco fan, I have to say. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. There you I go. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I actually, as I said, we got you playing the Xbox because actually taking breaks from writing, mm-hmm. we would say, like, let's do something where we can just kind of, like, let's do some world building. Yeah. Like, let's look at yeah. other world building. So, like, there's so many great video games out there now. I know I was showing you Dragon Age Inquisition for a little oh, while, stuff like one. that, where, like, you can really see, like, yeah. it's so interesting to, you know, even there's the difference between 10 years ago and now what kind of story work goes into video games. And I, I love it. It's so great. Yeah, the act-based storytelling, the, the multiple tree kind of storytelling stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I dig. It's a different kind of writing, but it all falls into that same... A good story is a good story. Yeah. Right. So and, and 
it's just medium. It's really interesting. And then that's one of the cool things that we talk a lot about on on this podcast when we or this podcast, this thing that we do here, uh, whatever it is. Um, hey, we're the podcasters here. You, yeah, yeah. I did, I did not your... put slash podcast yeah. in my graphics, so I don't get to say that I podcast. You know what? That's fair. Um, <laughs> stick to your streamings. Yeah, right. Uh, this this was only this agreement to have you guys on was a, a strict agreement based on that we stay in each other's lanes, and I've yeah. already screwed that up. What the hell? Yeah, uh, no. you drive questionably in your lane, and we will drive <laughs> questionably in ours. No, <laughs> unfortunately, I think they may have heard what happens on these LNR screens. Uh, <laughs> I may have watched an episode or two. Oh, no, uh, I absolutely did, but I have to say, like, cool. as somebody, like, I. I'm bad at Rockstar games. Like, I was bad at the uh, Red Dead Redemption as well. Like, me okay. riding a horse. I know how to ride a horse in real life, and the fact that I can't do it in a video game is infuriating. I, I, <laughs> I never grew up doing the two-stick thing, so I yeah. always end up, like, my characters always end up walking through a room like... <laughs> Like if it was a if you if you saw a person that I was playing walk into a situation, they would be like staring at the floor for a while and then dropping a grenade at their ankles and then looking up while they try to run away and then blowing themselves up. It would just be, it's not ideal. No, um, no. it's not good. But now that we're done doing, uh, uh, you're gonna get lots of opportunities to make fun of me getting killed or, or getting lost here. Oh, deal. Um, All right. Okay. If you so see some bad driving. I'll just take a yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, 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 we'll pass this around. We'll do a good job with it. Um, cool. And Melinda, you said you game. Yes, I do. Um, I actually used to uh, compete in World of Warcraft. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, way, 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 way back in the day. Um, I, but yeah, I, I. Unfortunately, I had to grow up and get my own friends and credit cards and keys, uh, and I had to put it down for a while. So uh, it's a very addictive game. You and I have talked oh, yeah. about this. This is why I have a hard time getting into Star Trek Online because I'm like, I'm gonna be in it. I will never. We won't have time to write. I will yeah. never leave. Like, I, mean, I mean, it gets. You do too much of that, and your hands get messed up too. Yeah. Which is such a, I mean, the competitive thing. Absolutely, especially. and yeah, and I miss weird. my my WoW kids, but I am able to fulfill with other games now and stuff like that, and so. Cool. Well, I'm glad. Uh, you know, it mm -hmm. sounds like you found it. That's well, what addiction looks like. It's this face right here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited uh, to get started. So we're picking up in the middle of a case. I'll kind of try to explain okay. what we're doing in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, and people in the chat can also as well. We're going to kind of keep going with this case and talk about the global story and everything like that. Okay. So if everyone wants to get locked in, and I will remember to switch the video, mm -hmm. uh, because well, I've never not done that. Uh, I think, yeah, okay. I've got some fuzz. I got some fuzz too. Okay, so hold on. This there must should... be some game happening. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you hearing that? Clickies. I'm hearing okay. some think, form of clickage. I think. We'll find out. We'll find out, yeah. Um, <laughs> so make sure I don't do it. I was warned that like the tune guy is right next to the volume guy. And Ooh. Yeah, like, yeah, this is, this is what we go for here. So I'm going yeah. to go to game. And uh, let me just make sure I'm in my Ah, room. yes. I'm hearing the sweet sounds. Oh, great suits. We're already sweaty. starting off with great, great suits. Yes, good tie. Yeah, absolutely. Hats. Like I said, you're welcome to make any sort of toast or food or sustenance you need. We, we, we encourage that kind of... There's toast. Toast? Well, <laughs> you, had, you just have to make it for our guests. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Bring You're behind the wheel. That'd be nice. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, look, I'm just avoiding the driving at this point. Oh, deal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Would no. I consider a Pantene commercial? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. You've got the... Uh, I, mean, I forgot how much I missed. You've got the graceful things. locks and... Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. It's, um... Dewey smile. You know, you're very... I've been, I've been man-bunning it lately. It's been Ooh. nice. Ooh. It's a new thing for me, the man-bun, but nice. I'm excited about it. Nice. Um, we're going to the mall. Oh, deal. So there was a hit and run outside okay. of a bar, okay. and we're trying to piece together what happened, because okay. there was an argument inside between a couple, and we're trying to figure out if there was any foul play involved. Neat. Okay, gotcha. Dang. Again, great suits. Great hats, too. I love the change of... Uh, we can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a aspect week. Aspect ratio for the... You'd the be making a big mistake. Stuff. Yeah. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. What? Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. This is a vampire? Second puncture yeah, reached his heart. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Kidding. sorry, I cursed a little. Been doing this job 23 I mean, years, you know son. Who am I to no one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? <laughs> Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. <laughs> Jesus. We found a knife in the alleyway. It was Where extremely it bloody. Was it bang? Was it by patrolman uh, As big as a Perfect. bayonet? I have thoughts where I'll show you a little bit of a It was quite Murder one. 
We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. Yes. We have the knife, we have Four the coroner's report, and I bet you can Sabo as a witness. Oh, yeah. Let's bring her in. Okay, so we found a knife in the uh, yeah. in the, the trash, so it was assumed yeah. that this guy okay. just got drunk and stumbled out. But oh. clearly, Onto a knife? <laughs> well, no, the, the <laughs> no, knife no, was no, no. Okay, wait a minute, I was like, wait. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so let's look around. Yeah. Is there more? Mm. Can we get... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Eddie yes. Dolls. That has a real... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the what the fuck note. Nice. Yeah. Because I know I tend to write that sort of thing to myself. Notes. Yeah, I yeah. figured as much. Uh, yeah. I figured that yeah. knowing you, uh, that's what you would need to do. I it love... Hurts, but you're also right. Yeah. Yeah. I just... I love the use of the letters and stuff like this because... Like, even all the way down to the font, it's so Chinatown, because, like, that's, like, the oh, they visual. They know exactly what they're doing. It's great. It's, I, I love that oh, bloody money. Ah, oh, who doesn't love a good bloody money? He was definitely stabbed 28 times, guys. Nice. Uh, that's a, a reference to what I have to try. <laughs> I'm like, oh. but they, these guys now. Nice. Uh, I love it the more they just have a picture of a skull on the wall. Like, mwah. Okay. Are we going to look at the body? Is that what we're going to do? Ooh. The x-rays, maybe? I don't know. I'm always a big fan of, like, what is the brightest thing in the room, because that's usually, like, a thing to interact with. Well, you're welcome to interact with me. <laughs> uh, the, um... Let's see what else is in here. Yeah, is deal. like a evidence room? Oh, man, it just looks like a creepy hospital. I love it. What I mean? I know. <laughs> It's oh, just brutal. like, again, like, it's just like, it, my brain naturally goes to horror, so I always imagine, like, creepy asylum, but of course, sticky. not everything is creepy. I just want it to be creepy. Yeah, it's just old in this case, which yeah. does the job. Creepy. Right, let's see. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. Yeah. Can we just follow the partner back out to the car? Because we got to go apprehend the lady? Yeah, probably. Ooh, smart. Okay, I think I got the info I needed here. Okay, deal. Enough wandering around this more. Let's, let's, let's wander around. Let's jaunt to the car. Okay, he's just been Help waiting me out. here for you. Yeah. <laughs> we have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Let's roll her. Punch it. Patents. Yeah. Again, I haven't played this game in years, and it is so much fun to revisit right now. This is really, really fun. Yeah, the notebook is the mechanism for that. Is such hey, guys, a... buckle up. This is a thing here. Oh. Yes! <laughs> yes! You're a cop on the run. No, not on the run. You're a cop. Cop on the drive. Cop on the drive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cop on the oh, drive. Yeah. I used to drive some of this as part of my commute. You bet. Oh, uh, cop on the edge. That's what we were. Ooh, let's just He's a this cop on the it. edge. <laughs> All right. So what's cool about these open world games is they like to throw other stories at you. So we're going to a dispatch call now. Nice. And we'll do a little mini mission. Deal. What are the rest of the day? I guess we'll do that later. Yeah, I was gonna say she'll still be damning around later. It's That's fine. true. Um. <laughs> we have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. I know, Let's dude. bring her in. Another thing right now. Yeah, I know. Come on, partner. Oh, wow, this thing, this mission's all the way out there. Dang, yeah. Ooh, drug. Are we going to Malibu? What's going on? Maybe. It's also really funny playing this game, living in the <laughs> <laughs> This is a realistic amount of driving. Anyway. You bet. Are you blind? I, I mean, no. And that's a little ableist, <laughs> Mr. Parker, man. Yeah, right? How dare you? How exceedingly dare you? There's a turn here, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just critique that other guy, but, you know, yeah. he raises some interesting points. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? I, oh. Okay, so this actually, they recreated a huge portion of Los Angeles in the yeah. 1940s in yeah. this game. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, no. I feel like I'm John's way driving to the 40s right now. Exactly. Except, you know, uh, with uh, a need for speed. I expect I so. Is this mission Ooh. ever going to be anywhere? Ooh! Ooh! 
I also have to say the road quality has not changed since 1947. Correct. <laughs> yes, exactly. that is. Yes, I actually was impressed it didn't hit me on that last one. Yeah, you're. I mean, I'm enjoying the little tire graceful. spin outs. Yeah, you, you have a grace. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yes. Yeah. There's a finesse that Vin Diesel himself would appreciate. It's fast without being finesse. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wow! That was just cool. Oh, that was just, yeah, that was some Tokyo Drift shit right there. I started to think nobody would show. What if we gang got? fight. Third what? Street gang Steel. Down the street gang. Fucking fine. Some Mexican kids with nothing better to do. Thank you guys for everyone who's joined us here and who's hanging no out with us. So I knew guys. Oh, shit! I mean, maybe if we invested in education, you brought plenty of ammunition, sir. we would have something better to do, officer. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you bet. No, that sounds about right. Ooh, ooh. He shot your hat right off. My god. <laughs> How long do you think you can hold out? <laughs> yep, you can see him. Okay. Red right down there. Murder boy! Yep. You're surrounded, and your buddies are dead. Oh my god, yes. They oh. all look like they could be the Fonz's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not anymore. I mean, no. In the past. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. that's a good jacket. Yeah. It's a shame it's got some nice I love it. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We're going to talk a lot about clothes just because my one of my side jobs is that I do um, kind of clothing modeling. And so I love 1940s in particular stuff. And so I am well versed in how good these suits are. <laughs> Yeah, it's working for him. Mm -hmm. cool. But this guy is pretty good shooting. Yeah. For being right he also has the same jacket as the dead guy in front of him, so I've just been noticing. Oh no, it's changed color. It's it's color. It is different. Don't they have like color same. variations on the same jacket? Color variations on the same jacket. Oh, whoa! Ooh. That was not smart right? No, I'm just got a big gun. Oh, there he is. Oh, this is getting violent, guys. Violence! In a noir? What? No. We don't find out a dead body. Sorry. Throw out the gun. Again, relative murder. Have you witnessed the murder? Has the murder already taken place? You must bear with us after. Woo! Nice. Look at that. That's. Literally the exact wrong time to reload. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool. It was a good punctuating <laughs> moment. Like, you bet. I'm oh, a man. badass. Sorry, Letter K, you call it KGPL. I need an ambulance oh, at 1624 <laughs> West 3rd Street. Ooh, they're Code all four. dead. Shots fired and suspects are down. Yes, suspects with the hard plural. Let me get a meat wagon to pick up all this deli I just made. <laughs> I'm stumped. Ideas? No. We have the ice, we have the coroner's report, exciting. and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. We could roll Sabo in. as a witness. Come on, let's do this thing. Alright, All right, so we're taking in Laura, right? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. locations, we're going to the patents and residence. Yeah. Current destination. Let's do it. Yeah. Drive. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's move. Yes. We're way on the other side of town. Yeah. Now we gotta get back through. You mean Inglewood? No. No. Absolutely not. I just sat back. I literally. Yeah, no, that's fine. It's mostly downtown. Yeah, that checks out. Ooh! Nope. Oh, wow! Dang, dude! <laughs> I gotta say! Yeah. Yeah. Real Skill. finesse there. Real finesse. Skill. Like, mm hmm. I'm, I'm skilled at that. I'm terrified. But Lean into it. Getting... It's working for you. You're getting there, yeah. Oh, Whoa! The actual like reactions of the guys in the car oh, yeah. to the driving is pretty amazing too. Correct. I'm pretty sure a, a man on the left has a bad whiplash. Oh, let's see. The driving. Oh man. <laughs> they shift their weight. It's very hard. Fucking life. We're not gonna keep doing street calls. We gotta get on with this mission. That's it. I dig that they do that though. Like again, this is kind of the, the cool thing about. The changing the video game narrative that was kind of happening around this time, which is they're hiring like more writers and stuff mm -hmm. to be 
doing all of these smaller stories, because when you think about it, there's like over a hundred different stories. It's easier to compartmentalize yeah. a game like this, and I think that's interesting because... Absolutely. You have no idea how close you were to dying today, sir. <laughs> I was just waiting for a bus! Yeah. The cops <laughs> swerved around me 180 degrees! Oh. The second game is just the like vengeance of everybody we ran over in this game. One piece. <laughs> LA Insurance. Ooh, oh. a game I would not play. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Keep LA safe. Drive safely. Ooh, <laughs> they put that up for you. <laughs> yeah, like, the rocks are developed it into the game. They just okay. like got a call from my chat. Yeah, it's the rock bot patch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. very exciting. Nice. Every house still looks like this in L.A., by the way. They all look like they just stepped out of Edward Scissorhands, mm -hmm. still. Yep. And none of them have AC. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. No. Yeah. I've spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. Ooh. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. Oh, great top shit. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. He's Leroy stabbed him. Someone else's knife. Where is Leroy times? now? He's in the bedroom. Oh, you're very good, Lorna. Oh. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All oh, that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you had all the up. bases covered, I just love all the big mouth you acting to make sure that I was reading, because this guy is emoting like crazy, and it's effective, but like, I just can't imagine being the guy who's just like, I'm gonna be here making big mouth for a camera. Like, I, oh, cool, weird. You those tracking guns on your face? Mm-hmm. I mean, you've seen what happened about that cover You get big. Yeah, you, you do get help. big. Alright, we're gonna make this, guys. All right, Leroy, Sabo. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. More. Sometimes at you. All right. I just took out 20 guys, okay? Yeah, right? What chance do you have? And this dude shoots like a stormtrooper. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> did you just go into an enclosed space? Where did he find a lady? Leroy, Sabo, you relentless dick. You come any closer and Let I will this pull nice the woman go. You bet. How long do you think you can hold out? You want to back on your Ooh. own goddamn head being. Oh, Dang! oh no! Oh. 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 <laughs> Oopsie doozy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she died in a great sweater. Really great oh sweater. man, that's messed up. Yeah. Oh hey, it's the bad tangent. Oh hey, yeah. <laughs> I shot him, right? And then I just didn't kill him. Yeah. I thought I killed him. You didn't shoot him good enough. If you'd have I, shot I felt him like good I did. Oh, the we get to do it again. Uh, I was trying to be merciful. Oh, I was really worried that poor one was going to get to see this great top again. You know what? I'm starting to feel less bad about that lady getting killed. Um, I do still feel very bad about that lady getting killed. It wasn't me. So what if we just messed this up? It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? Yeah, yeah. This it just keeps repeating, and and you guys will get you'll just keep screaming until it's you know over. Okay, yeah, no. There's no way to save this lady. Don't stand a chance in front of the grand. No, I have no control over the sequence. Which is an interesting storytelling choice, right? Absolutely, yeah. To get rid of them. I mean, How this game does a good balance be. of like all the money we could claim, curated all that planning, planning. Yeah, How absolutely. to get him into the street, well, and make it look like an accident. It's really fun because, especially, you, you play less covered, sandbox baby. games. Um, you think I'm like, even compared to something like, uh, like Bioshock or something like that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there are, there's still a lot of side missions, but not nearly to the, the same extent as this, which is wild. But yeah, I, I dig it like crazy. Help me, randos. No? Okay. Well, I got He's still running it. Yeah, I got it. You must make a chase. Sabo, stop or I will shoot! I... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh no, he's gonna get the hostage. Last chance to surrender, Sabo. I can't guarantee I'm gonna get this here this time. Oh, it's all good. 
Oh no. oh no, this lady. You come any closer and I will pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. <laughs> Help me. You did it. Done. <laughs> You look spooked, Phelps. Well, yeah, people... I thought you'd been under fire before. Indeed. Detective Phelps is... It never gets any man. easier, Bukowski. Bukowski's also... Good reference. Yeah, you mm. bet. That's like one of my favorite parts whenever we're sending a new script or something. So what is that great name? Why do we randomly name someone? Mm -hmm. Shitty author name? Yeah, done. Done, yeah. <laughs> Ray's Cafe. Shitty meaning grumpy. Yeah. So also... I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, nice conspiracy, and first degree murder. And we'll say they have cast it on everyone's face in perfect no. HD. Just how leathery everyone's skin looks by 30 in Los Angeles. Asking mm -hmm. questions like, until you get to the truth. We forget we got some sharp pretty constantly that we paved over a desert like with the hubris of man. Keep up the like. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all that video vehicle damage, but no injury dollars. City damage, Good. very minimal. Uh, who needs some light posts? Well, I'm popping it back into the chat. You allowed Let's the say. driver to duck a failure to stop charge. Oh. Right. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Well, that's weird. That's, you found a lot of clues. It's yeah. a real specific error. Ooh. A slip of the tongue. We're getting into our first case, so this yes. is... We can, like, kind of follow the whole storytelling of this case. Steal. Oh, Gordon Leary. Yo, That's Kowski. just another... Be great Kowski. name. We located Kowski. a green uh -huh. Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Kaiser Fraser. Address 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Hey. We're on it, Captain. We just got here. It's the 1940s. Dip. Literally, everyone's a cop on the edge. Uh, that's true. I swear, it's the more just a bunch of guys the the hot sheet going goes. at each other. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole. <laughs> he I, want just, I want to know everything about that cop. Yeah, yeah what's he your deal? He seems really eager. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Palm Springs for the weekend. It's his first day on the job. This guy's do stairs like I do stairs. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. A little is that, too fast. Is that well, what is that? Doing? <laughs> Just, I know it's weird. I do it a little quickly. You're very, <laughs> you're very tight. You're you feel like you just gotta just something, just something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I have a rock star stair cycle, in the game sense, not the. That's it. Okay. Where are we going? A slip okay. of the tongue. Ooh. A tip of the hat. A hop of a skip. Well, that's that you were doing then. I may still be doing it, but we'll find out. Hey. Yeah, no, I appreciate this. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm going to do this on my, on my commutes. They're the calling her the dolly now. Yeah. I wonder what Ooh. Veronica Lake makes this of that one. I'm going to keep doing that every time a car comes <laughs> over. You're whether they're making any progress. <laughs> I'm like the near Miss King. No, yeah, it's all good. Hey, it's fine. Uh, Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. Right? Yeah. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Yeah, it's the 40s. Every time you have to go, man. Or sweat. Man. Devil enough being murdered <laughs> like that without having to get screwing all over the place. That's what you're saying, Veronica Lake reference in the Bible. Hmm. Rod, as yeah. a fellow, I know you from Stephen, did you have to watch Sullivan's Travels like five times? No. <laughs> They did that to you? We had to watch Sullivan's Travels. <laughs> wow. I watched Sullivan's Travels in, as like a story analysis movie in two separate classes. <laughs> and like Sullivan's Travels is a good movie. Correct. But if you're like analyzing it for anything more than there are three acts in a story and events progress. Like it's not really going to blow your mind. Yeah. Um, That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. It's good. Like I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just like... Two separate times, there were other members. Yeah. Need help <laughs> <in> the <laughs> way. Veronica Lake. Put your favorite Veronica Lake. Twelve forty-seven. Yeah. Detective no. Phelps well, requesting immediate backup. It's always uh, in pursuit of a stolen something. green car. And everyone's oh, like, oh, "This yes. is an example of also... great screenwriting." And the answer is, "You're right. I didn't need to see it ten times." Because we're in a full-blown car chase. Yeah. It could go wrong. Oh, whoa! We're in a truck chase. 
This is the dream. We're living Light the dream. Wheel I disagree. I've been entrapped in the current car chase as well. I'm not being a participant in the car you know chase. I'm, I'm ready. As I'm into this. To. Let's yeah. do this. This is the perfect application of your skills. My my skills. <laughs> yeah. I have a very set of specific skills, and yeah. I'm not yeah. enough games left. Take oh, man. Out. Ooh, get him. Very sparse trunk. I know. Well, presumably stuff fell out because the doors. It's yeah. It's also stuck. Right here. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Sorry. Bless you. Thank you. Allergy season. Yes, blood lust is, is increasing. Get up. <laughs> oh dang! That was like a solid T. You just gonna like go around and shoot him? Like, what is that? <laughs> We're <laughs> cops, guys! Oh, man. The way that made that look. Oh, like, Marty McFly's other brother. Like, yeah. Marty McFly's dad's other brother. You're under arrest. This is a real this guy game. What are you talking yeah. about? Nice try. I'm talking oh, about the, the car. Texture on the You're out of your mind. I bought the car, Strong. and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Yeah. The car is wrecked now, anyway. You bet. Oh, those pants. There's so many patterns going on here. Looks like we'll have some questions Great for the people camera. at Coombs yeah. Automotive. Why'd you run so much, and why did I destroy this stolen car? That's <laughs> That was the fastest sketch of all time. Oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, no, right? There's just a guy in the corner just going to town. Yeah. He's handling it well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You purchased this, this car from 24? the Automotive Company. I'm calling him yeah, Riff. That's it's right. Fine. I just... <laughs> He seems like, okay, I read him as genuine. He honestly just seems That's like a guy. Cool. Yeah, he so seems... I'm going to say good cop. Good cop. And yeah. the ownership papers? From the same place. Okay, now you're getting real nervous on me. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of cool, so I got his yeah. ownership papers. This yeah. is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Huh. Yeah. I feel like... By noir rules, if they're wearing a sweater vest, they're a good guy. But if he's like, a, if he's like a teen boy wearing like a bomber jacket, like that's the bad guy. I, so you like, know, maybe no, they'll flip record. it on us. You know, maybe they'll flip it on you us. You have a Who criminal knows? record. You bet. Nothing like that. Okay, he definitely has a criminal record, right? Yeah. Bad. Um, so bad cop. Be you better give us something quick, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the Ooh. car. I ran because. Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Wacky backy, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what? We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. If you hand us There's the wacky a Reaper back. madness. All right, we're killing like, these questions. Just slightly too Okay. Um, I love this game because the storytelling is all about reading people's faces. So yeah. vehicle purchases. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Coombs. That feels good. That feels right. He yeah. He doesn't lie in there. And yeah. he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. That was an ace. We're going to get to the bottom of three this. Three out of three. That's rad. This guy is really doing down too down. much body mo You've got to be kidding me. So I'm getting arrested. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little nervous. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I, yeah, again. Yeah. Well, that was me with, with uh, Shouty Gun Guy in the other one, where he was just like, ah, here's my you know face. My and he was like, He's, he's, he's a little wacky, inflatable to my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, though, I really dig this idea of, like, oh. even as a writer, they have to write in for the actors and then, like, let the actors do their job. And that's just, it really is, like, a nice, yeah. Before we drive off, I just, this, this coffee billboard to the Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Oh, I want it. I want it. Usually they look so Ladies prefer. Stanley to Joe. <laughs> Stanley. Oh, it's T. Oh, he's a little T man. He's a little T man. Stanley, you beautiful boy. Ooh. The paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean cut This is, this is uh -huh. some top maps. Look at this traffic. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think it. Ooh, I was almost dead. That was the time I killed someone. I'm more than happy to be I love it. So let's talk a little bit about World Black. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, they do these little details. And for a game like this, they hire teams of writers just to write But it only works one way. What do you think they're trying to accomplish? You know, I, what I love about world building is this Ooh, kind of philosophy is, one like, we talk a lot about fake true crime with our Hemp Electra podcast, and this is a real world, 
Yeah. This is a world with its own. I mean, it, it, another history is lesson for the man who single-handedly. So it has its own rules. It has its own, you know, yes. kind of thing. I feel much better. What I love about we'll shake the play with history is there. what rules can be put on top of that. Place, golf, and so, like the rules of even just like which what a cop on the edge, what a cop looks like here, and how you can apply See? it in all these little stories is really, really fun. It's just, it's so. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <Yeah>, what? <inspired. laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to be a mouthpiece. I'll be an orange mouthpiece. Yeah. Um, and shoot them. Okay. Um, Next Absolutely. Right. Uh, but it is really, really cool because, like, when you look at world building with this and then you get to see how it splinters into the tiny stories, it really does. It flushes something out in a way that you can't necessarily do in, like, film because you don't get to see everybody else's day to day. Like, we are literally just competing upon that motherfucker's day to day right now. <laughs> you know, Johnny Son of a Bitch over there is just like, wow, like, again, he goes home with a story that way. You know, I almost got hit by, by a rogue car. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's really interesting when you get to think about it that way. When you're, when you're like legitimately playing in somebody's world, it's very similar to something like D&D, which I can't even see. Like, yeah. 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 You're a goddamn mess! Five power line. Alright. Yeah. What's he doing? It's not really good. Yeah, I know one of our favorite things that we do is world building with a lot oh, of Oh, I think I did a thing. What? I might have killed someone, or... Ooh, or, or the fan of the opera's about to show up. Or I think I just got to the space. Okay, I got there oh, just okay. as I killed someone. Wow. Nice. You know. Got there just as I killed someone. Well, immediately they can get... Saved in the yeah. nick of time. Oh, man. Oh, great Everyone time, Everyone knows a cop on the way to a crime scene. He you gets get the there right at time. Out. That's perfect. You're in the right place. <laughs> you bet. Know. Another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Right, oh, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> let's kill this guy. What? <laughs> Wait, no. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the uh, owner? Man, That's another right. great suit and tie combo. Uh, Look at that. I love this actor. Oh, and guy. I love this actor. I mean, yeah. Oh shoot. Auto a man can't by the name of yeah. Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. <laughs> I'm trustworthy. <laughs> oh, yeah, all the shoulder acting is really Very just amusing. like... Everybody's got something Harrison. different that they've kind of defined their character by, which is rad. Freezer, if I remember right. Like, yeah, this is shoulder guy. It's in one hands office. guy. Walk this way. Big mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, this guy... This game just keeps That's upping the wacky and inflatable so. two men. Yeah, it's really wild. Nope, do you mind if I shoot this I'm guy? This guy. On my yes! But mm -hmm, Bukowski is speaking my language. language. Yeah. Let's do some murder. <laughs> Let's do a murder, guys. <laughs> oh, he's just sitting there waiting to get pistol lips. Come on. Sure, I can't interest you in a nearly Sorry. new car, son. <laughs> huh? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and... Oh my god, his neck. What was wrong with it? It's 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 got He's a, a real, like, man. two actors vibe. Like I think they just dropped the head on, which is weird. Oh, let's check his trash. Let's check his door. Let's check <laughs> his other trash. No, all right. Um, let's, uh, let's. Yeah, I was gonna say. Check his cars. We could talk to that guy. Ooh, probably. talk to a rando man. Yeah. Hey, rando Ooh, man. rando boxes. Ooh. Yeah, kick those box. Yeah. I can make out with that wall. Ooh, That's what we were doing there for a second. <laughs> Look, I'm uh. Did we talk to that guy back there? No. I'm too used to driving, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like sitting here, swerve! Hard break, drift! Let's see, wait, what about that trash can? Because, like, I don't know. No, it's no, closed. Damn. Them. Well, now we're been foiled by some stairs. Mm. Okay. Why is that? Like, I think you can, because, mm, yeah, again, when things are lit up, there oh. we go. Here it is. This game Got the original pink slip there, too. Well, this is a thing in modern games that sometimes feels a little beginnery of, like, an arrow that points to where you need to go. And yeah. sometimes a game just needs an arrow that's like, sit here. Well, that's why I like the, I mean, so much about video games is the, or I like to call them, look around you, look around you. And this game is really good at lighting up, Avenue. like, mm. what they want you to pay attention to. It's a hard one to Gene Archer. Richard Coombs, that's his signature. Nice. Ricky Coombs. Marky Parking. Trace the address for Marky Printing. Oh. I see what they're throwing down here. I think we need to come back with more evidence before we can accuse him of stuff. Yeah. A bribe. Oh, no. A ticket. <laughs> Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. 
Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's a real purchase receipt. Yeah. Hmm. It's, so it definitely came from here, but they're forging these documents. That's yeah. a real nice construct. Yeah. We have a couple of questions. Oh, I've got All questions right, for us. Shoot. Okay, let's let's put our character judging here. Deal. Details the transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. As that you do in the 1940s. Has a real okay. <laughs> that is definitely not true. No. So yeah, no. let's uh, accuse. Do we have something to accuse him with, though? Like uh, any evidence that. Oh, it's a stolen vehicle. Yeah. yeah. You're lying. You buy stolen cars and then resell them. <laughs> you have some evidence to back up that outrageous aspersion? Aspersion. Well, the vehicle was reported stolen. Yeah. Son, you are more mixed up than a oh, feather no, in a hurricane. I'm getting tired of you. Feather in a hurricane. All right, so if you use the accused feature, you have to match up to the right piece of evidence. Oh. That yeah. thing. So let's go. Yeah. You describe this Jean Archer. Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. Mm. You dick. Yeah. <laughs> um... Okay, do we think he knows more than that? Huh. I mean... We don't have any He's really pictures. confident. So maybe bad cop... So bad cop basically thinks we think he's lying, but we don't know what. Yeah. Bad cop him. Yeah. So this dizzy broad walks in here off the street and sells you a two-year-old car for half the price, and you don't ask any questions. School, has a degree, and it got to... I'd say that Do about respect. sums it up nicely. Yeah, he's smug. We're not doing very well here. Okay. No, that's okay, though. Like, I... It's you interesting. Know about the company that prints like, these pink slips? Yeah. Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. Oh, yeah, that seems smug. Bad yeah. Cop. Yeah, because he's leaning These pink the slips carpet. are leading us to something big, Coombs. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a. Bad oh, I'm getting all these wrong. Damn. I sell cars, not paper. Oh, <laughs> I've got no information, guys. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Well, he's okay. lying there. That was the... Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> um, legitimate, legitimate. Yeah, all these seem legitimate, so I don't think there's anything I can accuse him there. I just have to bad cop him. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bear bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now, don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Guys, okay. We get all so, attentive I got that one people right. who obstruct <laughs> LAPD investigations. Ooh, we got an outfit. Ooh. Oh, I could just spend like 15 minutes doing outfits. Wait, sunstrip yeah. strip outfit? Yeah, what? it's time to play with outfits. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> Dude, no joke. I think you have that jacket. I do. I love yeah. that half Norfolk. Oh, yeah. that's a beautiful jacket. That's a beautiful yes. jacket. Yes. Oh, yeah. Again, we were the Hannibal kids. We love a good suit. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, oh. but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. If I could reach Get on the horn and call it in. Steal a tie. It would be right, where's the tie. tie. Oh, yeah, this guy. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Can we talk to this guy? Oh, we can't. Oh, he has no internal life. That's fucked up. Ooh. I mean, that's messed up. That's <laughs> <laughs> nice You're good. Oh god. Ooh. Ooh. Some sort of. The tiny Doctor Who. Model. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> the tiniest turtles. Hello. Oh, that is half no, I'm busy fighting the Daleks. Leave me be. Detective. It's me, Fane Chooks. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I've been doing this bit in a while for like a week now. Yeah, it's great. I need an address. No, I love it. Keep going. Oh, good. Okay. Marquee Printing Company. Sure. Just a moment. We have a tool. Fitzy. What do you mean? Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Are there any messages for me? Yes. A James Doctor Who says hello. Being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Yeah, There's a Dalek a foot. link to the Harrison case. I mean, not really. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, so there's a new sus. There's a new yeah, person interrogate. Yeah. And then there's also Ooh. a printing company. James Belasco. Yes. That's got a real yeah. bad guy vibe to it. Oh, well, you bet. I just take this car. I want to take this car. Ooh, I mean, take the car. Hey, 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 what the hell that are you doing? That man is as subtle as a hand grenade in a barrel of opium. <laughs> I love the uh, folksy, weird, <laughs> that man's as subtle as a hand grenade. <laughs> like, it's just, like, this game is also a really good testament, kind of like talking about, uh, like, like, when you're doing storytelling based in a real world setting, mm. like, 
matching language of an era is... Do we just leave the car door open? Oh man, yes, do it, do it. <laughs> but like, matching language is just like such an interesting thing to get a chance to do and to like see to think it, it on display so many times evidence. in this. In <laughs> well, they have to come up with all these folks up fucking the euphemisms is really... Well, it's, it's, yes. Okay, uh, uh, interrogation. So let's go to the, let's get some information first. It's got a yeah. working printing company. Deal. Yeah. Can we change vehicles? Is that the thing? Yeah. Or we have to, like, go Here's a chicken and egg question. Well, you, you just, just take any vehicle. Do you think that was just, just purple. Purple. But you don't, you don't get police dispatch. You went to an asshole. You've got it in for everyone. Sorry, we passed over the immaculate. I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more that annoying they are, the quicker you start. Uh, <laughs> it's gone now. It's gone now. <laughs> Should I do it all in reverse? All the driving in reverse, guys? Yeah. Oh, there it is! Oh! That pimp mobile right there! Oh, you do. bet! Oh, oh shoot. Give us your car. Give us your car, us your lady. <laughs> uh... I showed you my favorite 1950s car the other day, the Femme Wagon. Real car. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's the La Femme. Ah, uh, the La Femme. Which is, yes. It's the La Femme, basically, but yeah. La Femme. But when you bought this car originally in the 1950s, it came with a matching purse, so... <laughs> it would, like, slide into the glove box? Oh, yeah, they had, like, a holster really for it. Like, Unbelievable. That's how, we, that's how we used to make cars. Did I get one of those for, like, my messenger bag? Laptop slot? Hello, all that are joining us. Thank you for being here. We're just playing Snowy Noir. Talk a little bit about the story of the game. Draw him in. Yes. There's like a nice element of coffee talk, of like with the driving I'm elements. Drinking in some forties. Yeah. Oh, great. This is oh, oh. some great, great music. Oh, oh, oh. That was yeah. some really <laughs> strong drifting. Wow. <laughs> oh, hard stop. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> we're going down that. My God, yes, we are. Yes. Oh, this is some ninth gate nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I always get us there, guys. Oh yeah. I always get us there. Deal. <laughs> oh boy. Careful. That's good. That suit shop was still. It was a sweater vest shop, which I think is Still. kind of equally great. <laughs> yeah. We're in the industrial warehouse district? Yeah. I mean, with this being downtown Los Angeles, like, yeah. Yeah, literally the yeah. industrial warehouse district then. Marquis. I strike fear into pedestrians. Yes. I must run them over. Oh my god. This guy has like mob vest soft face, so I'm already... I hope I did this in the right order, because I feel like maybe I need like the info I would have gotten from... You know, I don't know which one I now want what first. What can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am. Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? Can we talk we about We understand that your company right prints California oh, vehicles. Right. Um, I'm gonna yes, overrule you I have the that. government... <laughs> I was just the guy here. Yeah, yeah, some, some years. years. Let's talk about current. Have you had any goods or equipment Yum. stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. <laughs> Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. You know, people at print shops. Or... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I was it. detecting a bit of a twitch there in him, though, so. Yeah, this guy's got a real it was me vibe. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I think... I, I've always, I always uh, strived to have an It Was Me vibe. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I feel I like that's... And me to yeah. connect that. It's a dangerous vibe, though. Yeah. Yeah. To, to yeah. Keep it's very up. powerful. It's got yeah. a real... With vibe. Power. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, how's the chat looking? Very exciting. They're having fun. They're enjoying the driving. The Excellent. Rogan and Furious. Belt, leave him be. Nice. <laughs> nice. Really yeah, fast pushed him. Nice. Cool. Am I supposed to look for evidence? What am I looking for here? Can you go upstairs? Is there an upstairs to go to? Oh. Because it's got a sort of. Mayhaps. Oh, no. It's just for show. 
the idea of a second floor is presented. A slip of the tongue, a tip of the tang, a dip of the dog, a shabba la blah. There. Now, what are my cases? <laughs> Investigate Marquis Printing and investigate and Jean Archer's arrest too. So yeah. we should probably check on Ms. Jean yeah. Archer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, my question was, uh, is a dead end, right? There was nothing out, out of it? Yeah, it seems like there's nothing. Yeah. My, my only thought was, um, there looked like there was like a yellow file folder on his desk, but I wasn't sure if we could interact with it. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. We could go around the desk. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I'm not sure. But. Oh, hey, okay. Hey, can we access? No? No. No. It is very well lit, though. Yeah. Oh. I look around you, rules have failed me. All right. Um, okay, we'll, we'll come back to this guy in the, uh... Yeah, ooh. I'm at a loss. Wait, no. We could always try the address Archer gave. <laughs> Maybe she's dumb enough to be sitting at home waiting for it. You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a cop. I get my car when I want. <laughs> no worries, sir. You're witnessing standard police procedure. You now have... proceed to drift over your body. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. Alright, police oh, so station Fremont. or distress? Let's go to uh, Fremont to see if Ms. Archer is there. Yeah. I love that you can hear the scraping. This <laughs> <laughs> like, really. Swords and Highlander hitting each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, there can be only one. Oh, <laughs> uh, those two palm trees are still there. All right. So, what do you think about how they structure the case? I mean, it's kind of fun how they set up these little noir procedural type things, right? Absolutely. And what I actually really dig about um, even just the people who we've been interacting with so far is that it really could go either way. Got the reason we've been having a bit of a rough one with this one is that both of them seem just legitimate enough, right. which is really fun. Uh, I love getting a chance to play with like potential villains that like it's kind of like the Lex Luthor conundrum of like. He's a legitimate businessman most of the time, unless he's trying to kill the Superman. Like, it's really, really fun and compelling to see, again, like, the intricacy of something that should be as silly as, like, stolen cars. Like, that's not the law and order episode you normally want to tune in for. You want to turn in, tune in, like, the serial killer one. Um, the same time as well as always procedural items. Like, yeah. The dead end guy. Yeah. The best that, uh, Absolutely. Have to go back to Absolutely. It's really, really fun to see how, especially since they have to do it so many times in this game, how they're able to keep these, again, like, these cases where, you know, 75% of what's on television now is crime procedural. And so, like, I am a bit of a public menace, guys. I apologize. Yeah, it's kind of hilarious. But yeah, keeping the economy going. Yeah, you know, uh, car people need to get repairs. You bet. Yeah. The repair people have job. You know, you're 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 you'll single-handedly. I'm implying stimulating the yeah. LA economy, Empty. man. Absolutely. Every that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Only had all those birds of paradise in the background make perfect sense. Oh, um, yeah. That's the. We should go to the yeah. station. Yeah. See what this Belasco guy has to say. We have fewer um, abandoned. Lots though. No. I mean, you see, we, have, we have a lot of abandoned. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. We have a lot of abandoned lots, but on the whole, a lot of those abandoned lots have been turned into parking structures for comics. That's good. So it's interesting here. It dead ended me at the printer shop. It dead ended me at the house. Huh. So what appeared to be a open world story has directed me to a very specific place. Interesting. Huh. That is very cool. And again, like, that's kind of, when, when dealing with storytelling in an open world, it's interesting to see where they pick and choose to do that. Yeah, I mean, the, the bottom line is in video games, they just, they are incapable, they can't yeah. do everything, right? Yeah. And so, they, they're constantly boxing you in in different ways. Yeah, absolutely. That's a realistic frustration in a case, too. Detectives, Alaska yeah. is prepped and ready in two. Mm -hmm. Another stolen car with legit... Absolutely. Thanks. Ooh. I'm just still admiring the Sunset Strip track of it. It's, it's good. Uh, we're looking for the interrogation room. Sometimes you forget what you're doing. Um, the interview room. Okay. Uh, the other one, then. Uh, I think my chat's frozen. 
Oh, there's herb rooms down that hall. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay. Also. Booking window. No, the other hall, I think. Or we're doing the the lineup line gallery. No, oh. We're just getting to explore this police station, which is really great. Yeah, I think we have to go around. Mm -hmm. It's funny, I mentioned D&D &D before, but this is like... It's one of my favorite kind of elements of storytelling when you're when you're dealing with uh, other people interacting. And I know that we actually get a little bit of this as like a writing partner team. Is literally you like in D and D when you throw a group of people into a room, it's fascinating to see how immediately they run to all the walls and they want to touch everything. Like the idea is like, where's there a lever? Where's there a you know? Is there something I can fight? Something I can do? You know, like we immediately look James for Belasco? the edges of the world. I want James Velasco? It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Yeah. Like, I like that this game makes you touch every level of this world to interact the with The paper it. is real enough, it's Velasco, cool. but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. It creates a great texture for storytelling. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And it's in a world that's so textural already. Yeah. Uh, and you and an interesting still marquee printing. Yeah. And that is very blank. Mm-hmm. Mm. Where were you taking the car, Jane? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Well, okay. I'm not gonna play good cop. No. Um. He looks nervous. But do we have anything on him? I think we just have to play back on. Yeah. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I'm looking terribly I want a deal. Keep talking. Hey, hey you cracked so him. <laughs> like My a job wall is to drive the cars yeah. out of state. In my defense, though, Arizona, zip up jacket. Sometimes New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the truly bad half. Oh, right, so absolutely. we got it's a racket. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what do you know about Archer? Does the yeah. name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Is he lying? You trying to fake a dress? I don't know. No, you wouldn't keys. know. The, you wouldn't know the thing. It's just bad cop. I'm like, I'm gonna basically bad cop him. But yeah. I feel like he's kind of honest. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. No. I don't know no Gene Archer. Right. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. I don't believe that. That's no. No. Shit. He's sitting there holding his deck. Row. None of that's true. Just something like, like that. Oh, I'll turn you into a child okay. molester. Okay. I hear you. Tell me your cars deal. get sold in Chicago. Rock? Yeah, back this east. guy looks like if sometimes Neil Patrick I bring back cars coming the other way. Um, I. Do you know? Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Where in the nineties? Oh yeah, mainly in the downtown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is there more to that? You think? You good know, cop, I think. I think good cop now. Good yeah. Cop, this guy, yeah. Come on, Velasco. You must have an address. That's not the way they work. They keep moving around. Never the same address twice. Mm. Ah. You had a chance to cooperate, Belasco. See you in ten years when you get out. Dang. I'm not doing very good on this You're case. You're Phelps, right? We're not helping. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Great. Okay, I'm back up. I'm swapping you out. No. <laughs> That's fair. That's real. fair. Well, again, it's interesting because I think a lot of times... There's only um, one company that prints them You know, a lot of the work that I do as a script doctor is talking about the structure the and story and all this kind of stuff, but you check them out. there is something to be sure. said for... Sure, they're on Aliso <laughs> Street in kind of the corner of San Pedro. I spoke to what really can make your world pop. You know, Lightfall. like, there's, there's these Here. little bits and pieces where, again, just Thanks, the, the dialogue. This is a great lead. So yeah, we definitely did that in the wrong order, too. Yeah, we definitely did that in the wrong order. But, you know, <laughs> like, every once in a while, taking a step back and remembering your texture, you know, can be the difference between a... Again, a story that we've seen before, or uh, something very GTA unique, suspect, and Gene for a story that we've technically seen before patrol. and that we played Western through Union over and over. Office. Ooh. Hey, Less than a minute Rad. away down the street if you run. But yeah. Oh, she won't hang around. The texture is what makes each of these cases in so many ways interesting. Poorly. The answer Orly. is poorly. Wow, my answer also true. Come on, we 
don't want to lose her. We're gonna take a. We'll... Don't you tell me that. Right. Yeah. Whoa. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss <laughs> Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Okay, but um, we know that the pink slips are fake. Yeah. Uh, but Harrison's ownership papers, maybe? Or Archer's? Oh, she's an Archer. Yeah. But we know that that's legitimate. Yeah. Maybe a fake address? Oh. I think we just got to play bad cop here. Um, that's fair. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Oh. <laughs> I love her, like, sassy 40s bra. <laughs> How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? Okay. Um, that's that's a nervous know. lady right there. Boom. Yeah. Well, that's the, you can accuse He's her. your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so Bless. cruel? This is the just like a classic noir lady right here. Like right yourself. out of an old paperback. I love See it. how you handle the hard time. I'm not doing a very good job here, but... Mm. I think you could have accused her because she said James. But she mm. had not given her James. Right, but James didn't give her, like, didn't admit to knowing her. Mm. No, but that, I mean... She would have known his first name. They're really just yeah. taking her to prison because she was wearing pants. Yeah. Um, that just not <laughs> Oh, woman! No. <laughs> just Oh, uh, it's terrible. I know. Ugh. Can you drive this one? It is terrible when Fine. the woman wears pants. Where are we headed? Oh, Calm down. <laughs> Ow! Used to getting her own way. Right this time. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. My wife. My wife. Yeah. You're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. He's giving around Morgan Freeman. I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now, get sorry. I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. You know, actually, we'll, we'll take a, a quick stop here. Um, oh, okay. To just talk a little bit, I figured. Uh, Deal. Woo. Oh, um, my ears are free. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys, you know, take a second. Can we use Um, we're so. Yeah, uh, my ears will conquer. This game's been. I'm like, I want to ask Ripley a question. That's the problem here. Oh. I, I want. Well, I, yeah. What's the question? Well, like, I look what? at the at the screen and I oh. see <laughs> your shirt as a person. Yeah. As like a third person in the room. I it's do like, love the alien movies. So if you want to ask Ripley a question. Well, my chat wants to buy me a mech, or like people want to mm. buy me a mech, and Ripley's really my inspiration for that. It's but the anyway. power lover. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> I've gotten to see the uh, the screenies one. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. it is amazing, and it's slowly yeah. melting. Yeah. Um, I can send you a picture later. Yeah. Okay. You can't that's actually fun. touch it because all the. The plastic they used is leaching chemicals out of it. I like the foam. Yeah. Thanks, Sweet Insanity Arts, for the cheer. I appreciate Ooh, it. Ooh, yay! Uh, I mean, have fun lurking and, and catch up on the stream later. Um, so yes, this is uh, this is really cool. Uh, the game. Oh, I want to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing. So you guys have a podcast. Yes. Correct, and we've talked about a little bit how you kind of focus on um, Hannibal Lecter and kind of the lore that goes around it. 
Um, I have a little card that I'll put up in front of my face. I'll wait. I'll wait. There we go. And. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys have a podcast. Uh, how do you like to approach um, your subject matters on those? Like, what do you guys kind of, do you do an episode or a book or, or an episode? What do you try to play it through? Well, we've only done the, uh, our, our focus was the adaption, adaptations, uh, uh, adaptions, uh, adapted versions uh, um, yeah. of the characters. So we went in a kind of linear season by season order, uh, but the way we kind of spiced it up was... Uh, our premieres and finales of our show are the films. Yeah. So cool. for season one, we started with <coughs> Manhunter, the uh, the 1986 movie with Brian Cox, mm-hmm. um, and ended with... Uh, uh, Horizon. No. Oh. No, uh, uh, ended season one. Oh, ended season one. Yes, with, yes, yes, yes. Uh, with Silence. Silence of the Lambs, um, yeah. Which, which is was, an amazing film. Yeah, uh, yeah and it's a, it's, a, yeah. it's a perfect way to bookend oh. that first season, because yeah. it's... You know, yeah, and I, you know, we don't, you know, know, we don't want to give any spoilers to the audience about any oh, specifics course. on anything. Mm-hmm. But um, there's a cannibal. His name's Hannibal. Hey, uh, I love that. Uh, 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 and it's it's it ended up being a very a cool way to approach the show because each of those movies gives you context and mm-hmm. kind of coincidentally the order we approached them in the movies gave us sort of building kind of snowball rolling context as we went so, Absolutely. so by the time we're actually doing the back half of season three the red dragon stuff there we've oh. done the other two red dragons yeah right. in the order that they were made you know yeah. manhunter and then the film red dragon absolutely um, and like you said the book ending is really nice just because we really do have two definitive hannibal lecters that kind of live in the world now we've got the mickelson and we've got the hopkins I mean, obviously Cox is in there, and so is Gaspard. But um, well, well, I'm just like I'm yeah. like just picturing these people like in a box because yeah. you know they're like you're in <laughs> there in your world. Yeah, they yeah. just lock these guys up in a room and yeah. they you, you know bring them for content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope not. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, but that's the the, the, the yeah. thing is we we actually end up starting our first and now last seasons, uh, the first and third, with the the the. Fake the less accepted, the, yeah. the unhannibal Hannibals with Brian Cox and Gaspar Leo, yeah, um, who both do great work. They're doing yeah. uh, uh, it's it's those two actors are actually doing really good work considering their scripts. The guy, well, it's not even just the scripts, but yeah. also sort of the, the 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 world around their films, the time yeah. they're being made in. Absolutely. You know, Cox has no other context. Um, for Electra, so he's just playing like Michael Mann's generic serial killer man. Yeah. Uh, spelled weird with a K. Um, yeah. And and Ulil, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> Ulil is just doing a World War II film. Yes, and he's doing um, a younger Hopkins. Yeah. He is very it's directly playing into a previous version of that. So those two versions of the role, yeah. kind of exist outside of what we consider the primary. Hannibals, what, what yeah. society would look like. <laughs> society Hannibals. Well, yeah. you know, fandom, uh, right, you know, right. uh, well, so, culture. So I guess, I guess my quintessential question that, you know, for people who you don't know the world as well, but like, what is it that makes, what in your opinion makes Hannibal such a resonant character? Because the characters are really interesting here. We're going to be talking, you know, about character. We can probably talk a little bit about character in the second half of the thing and what they've given us in Cole and what they've given us in some of the other characters in this game. But what is, what is it that you guys feel resonates about Hannibal Lecter? Is I, it that he's scary, or is it is it the humanity that he contains? It's the the I think both. It's, yeah, it's the yeah, combination. It's the both. He has the same something you hit on really early in the podcast, Melinda, which is is that Hannibal's Dracula. He's some sort of uh, vampire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the line from the film. Yeah, it's line yeah. from the books as well. Um, but he combines that sense of yeah. a horror we can't understand, the urge to eat people, with yeah. the the fun. He has yeah. a sense of fun. He's he an has... other monster. We we get the decadence of his world, of his intelligence, of his, you know, uh, just his presence. You know, people go to Hannibal Lecter's dinner parties, and the idea that there's something monstrous kind of under, like, right under the edge in a literal, in a face that looks like our own, you know, yeah, is, so is human, very... so don't believe he eats humans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, is he's so fun. Mm-hmm. Like, he really does have this sense of, uh, uh, hilarity of of yeah, he's so witty. Yeah, you know, all the various versions of him, yeah. even Cox, who's just like a dude in a sack in a yeah. a, a white cell, has that 
that that sense yeah. of humor. Yeah, yeah it's um, it's like you never know who to suspect, and I think it's an interesting way to build a character contradiction. Absolutely, it could be the the Twitch streamer that you're watching. All right, now. you bet. Uh, and that's kind of the thing. This is why I think that we have an obsession with not just like true crime, but like fake true crime as well, and especially Hannibal Lecter. It's really. As somebody who, like, really loves murder stuff, you know, like, I've done a couple of, like, the... Like, like murder stuff. You know, <laughs> murder stuff. Um, you know, there's something to be said about doing, like, one of the L.A. murder tours out here. And, you know, mm. where, what they do is, like, yeah, like, you're driving along and, like, you're seeing, like, all these famous spots. Like, this is the last place the Black Dahlia was seen and stuff like that. And then they drive you by the last place for Sharon Tate. And you, mm. you have a moment of, like... Oh, yeah. and I feel, yeah, exactly. You have a different moment and a different feeling. And that's what Hannibal Lecter elicits is that he's fake. He's not the Golden State Killer. He's not Ted Bundy. He's not, you know, these people who we have to look at a picture and realize that that was a real person in history. We can look at Hannibal Lecter as, a, we, character, right? as a character and we can look at that darkness that we know exists in the world and we can luxuriate in the decadence of this idea, this morbid curiosity with playing with the devil. Yeah. 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 There's that barrier of fiction yeah. that if you were sitting in a room with Ted Bundy and Ted Bundy cracked a joke about eating someone, you probably wouldn't laugh. When Hannibal Lecter <laughs> does it, you can't help but laugh because yeah. it's a funny joke. Yeah. Mm. Like it, 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 the, the layer of fiction that separates the, yeah. him from... The, uh, it gives the viewer permission or the reader permission to engage in that mindset. Yeah. To, but do if, not do so. Don't no! Do <laughs> don't eat people! No, no, I'm not saying... Yeah, 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 you know, don't it. do a murder. Don't eat a person. Uh, but people... No, still no. Um, but the, the, the pliability of... The mind to allow that sort of thing in is yeah. part of the game of reading or watching those Absolutely. adaptations too. It's um, yeah. why we love horror, you know, well, like yeah. Yeah, so I guess I guess where I want to apply this back to, okay. to what we're about to play is uh, is there is you know it, there is a certain role playing and voyeurism to being these characters, especially and it comes from video games as well, but it allows us to experience. Things. And, and, you know, honestly, we're still dealing with the video games. There is a lot of yeah. controversy now of certain video games that actually simulate, you know, grisly murders or things like that. And I think it's yeah. very... Um... <laughs> Sorry, the good good chat comment. Um, yeah, and so there there is this sense of, like, being the cop that makes video games more powerful. And I think that yeah. voyeurism or feeling like you're the character doesn't have to just... Interactivity can sometimes come from your own mind, even when reading a book or something like that. Absolutely. Not all books, you know, throw you in like that, but some stories that are just a story will prompt you to think, what was it like if I was in that position? Yeah. Right? And that's Absolutely. a sort of interactivity that, um, you know, it's just, it's not clean cut. It's not like books are not interactive, video games are. Yeah. Right? Some stories bring us into the world and make us want to kind of understand or explain what's going through. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and it's interesting because you were mentioning with books, and what I love actually as we've been playing through this that I was thinking about is like, remember those old Choose Your Own Adventure books? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's it's something to be said yeah. about when like you would keep your finger on like the other page so you'd flip to the, the choice that you had made, and if you didn't like it, well, your finger never left the page, so you could always just flip it back. Uh, and very similar, you know, kind of with video games, like, when you die in a video game, it becomes so blasé, like, to an extent, where it's like you can do it three or four times in order to make the right decision. So in that way, it's using storytelling as a very interesting tool about how we make these decisions and then how, again, like, the voyeurism of it going out into the real world and interacting. Like, it's very... Again, we love playing cops. We love seeing cops play cops. We love seeing dirty cops. We love seeing great cops. We love seeing the idea, the veneer of justice and how to play with it. Like... Totally, and, yeah. I, and I think Rockstar Games uh, and their open world formula that we're playing right now, yeah. L.A. Noir and, and these games where you can just run around and do whatever you want and mm -hmm. be criminals and do terrible things. Oh, yeah. I think, I think there's definitely something at play there. And mm -hmm. I, you know, it's like we're entering territories now where, you know, we've talked about, you know, traditional fiction for so long, ever since Aristotle's Poetics, which is one of the first books to ever analyze story. Okay. And, um... But, like, games are this interactivity element. It's a new thing. And it, it, mm -hmm. it hits a lot of different parts of the brain that aren't normally hit um, or have been hit consistently. So I, I think we're learning a lot. And I don't think that it's 
it's very cut and dry on any of this stuff. Absolutely. And in so many ways, with the way that VR is going right now as well, like, it's, you, I have no doubt in my mind that years from now, you can be the star of your own movie. Like, it's just mm. going to be kind of eventually where we're going with storytelling. You mean again, I'm going to be a star? No, sorry. You already yes. are a star. <laughs> He's a star, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, that's kind of the thing is, is that by building these worlds the way that we have, I mean, like, in building even just the psychology that goes into video games now, like the people who make Portal actually, I remember one of my good friends who works in um, the psychiatrics, like applied for a job to talk about psychology of Portal, like which is wild. Like we're putting this real world knowledge into your interactive experience and, and again, like all the way to a psychological level, which is going to be wild. And so this is, games like this is just playtesting that. And it's playtesting again. We want to run up and touch everything. We want to. We want to go to the sides of the walls. It's going to be storytelling. Is just going to be interactive D and D eventually, which is wild. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> Me too. Cool. Uh, well, let's uh, let's dive back, back in. Deal. Um, but uh, I'll just uh, real quickly remind everyone who you guys are. Uh, oh yeah. Your cards. Um, so just a reminder. This is Michael over here. Me, Kyle. That's me. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can type an exclamation point Michael in the chat to get his information. Yay. Um, this is Melinda. You can type in Hello. exclamation point Melinda to get her information. And they uh, they work on this podcast, the uh, Hannibal Lecter podcast, Having a Friend for Dinner. Having a Friend for Dinner, yes. Uh, which is hopefully not me at the end of this. And, no. Uh, <laughs> me or me. It's usually and, me. Uh, you can't tell. He just doesn't have a torso anymore. My leg's gone. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> full, full able getting. And then just once again, I'm Rodbot. And then the information on the screen. It's Let's his head. Go. Is over top of his head. Yeah. No, it works. I yes. have a body. Uh, and we're gonna step back into this game. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Let's yeah. do this thing. Oh, my headphones are yelling at me. Uh, yeah. Wrong. Okay. All right. This should be back. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Well, like a click good click. red. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know, You're I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. <laughs> a man with high standards. The standards are only as high hey, as the last glass of loose. Jim McGee, hi guys. Ooh. Ah, oh, the blue room. Oh, this still yeah. exists, and it is, wow, like... Less good than that. The bar is the same. Um, oh, that theater is yeah, still there. Yeah. It's now the TCL. Yeah. The no. Yeah. The blue room is weird. I went on a bunch of Tinder dates there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ooh. <laughs> I know it really sets More a scene. One. I know. Oh, I know. No, Tender boys, get it together. I was, yeah. <laughs> no, really though, get it together. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, this guy again. Yeah, but this is okay. yeah, armed with more Mofo. information. Now we know what his deal is. We are armed with knowledge. We're gonna... We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Remember me? No? Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, do we need to review the evidence real quick? Let's do that, yeah. Okay, so we've got a stolen vehicle. Okay. Mm. Uh, we've got the Coombs automated amount of bill of mm -hmm. the sale right. between... The two-tone car. Yeah. yeah. Then Harrison. we have ownership papers for Archer and Harrison. Right. Mm -hmm. the and Velasco. Yeah. Bill of sale, fake address, uh, on Gene Archer's pink slip. Mm-hmm. Stolen auto courier James Lasko testifies to working as an interstate courier. Um, no, message no. reads the thing, and then pink slips. Yeah. All right. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. <laughs> no, wow. definitely. Like that. <laughs> yes, I mean, no. Uh, shit. Uh, do you guys wizards. remember this piece of the note from Ray Pinker, who Ray Pinker, like, he was the cop. He was the other cop. He was the other yeah, cop, he yeah. Just, he just wrote down the address, so we don't actually have knowledge that he's connected to it, so we just have to bad cop him into it. Yeah, okay. Can we could pink slips? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Hey. Hey. Okay. All right. So he's just not familiar with this particular ring. Do the <laughs> so. names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. 
I, that feels genuine. Yeah, that, that feels, feels genuine. I bet the the used car lot guy just took the slips. Yeah. He's been doing this whole thing. Yeah. You sure you don't know either of them? Never heard of either. Oh, Jim. that's. Oh. That's got a suspicious vibe. Yeah, I got an X. Okay. Yeah. No. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? Ooh, good I would like to cross check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Okay, bad cop here. Hand it over, Light Ball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Bad thoughts about Very you? Well. <laughs> this really is irregular. Some kind of communist. Over here. Sorry, I just got caught on the corner of your desk for a second there. <laughs> for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can see anything. S. Bigelow's twice. Uh, oh, two. Oh, there's people. another S. Bigelow. There's a lot of S. Bigelow's. Yeah. Hey. You certainly encourage repeat business, Light Vault. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Of course, his name's Mr. Bigelow. Of course. Nice. Sorry to bother okay, you, sir. Great name. We'll let you know if there are <laughs> any developments. Hey, partner, do you want to maybe do some work? Well, I just yeah. got all no? that you need. Okay, just checking. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the uh, for the cheer, Smexy Chicken. Thank you for joining us. Yay. You are indeed a Smexy Chicken. Should we respond to this? Let's take a deep breath. Okay. Oh, I want to shoot some things. Hey, look out for the pedestrian. It is fun to shoot stuff. That's a healthy uh, desire. <laughs> My driving's really good again. Hey, fireproof warehouse. Yes. 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 It's made of bricks and filled with asbestos. You bet. Goddamn maniac! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be actual game commentary on your traffic! <laughs> I'm gonna oh. make it! I'm gonna make it! I ah. saw so one yellow cat in LA, which was a more <laughs> yellow cat in the LA. Christ alive! Oh, I'm seeing a lot of yellow cats. Actually, I think that was a yellow car. Oh, uh, that was just a car. Oh, that was cat. Thank you, Edouard, for the bits. I really appreciate it. Straight over. I love a good car chase, so I'm just always like... Oh, I'm really this far. This thing is far away. Yeah. Hot damn. You would have killed him. You definitely just crippled that guy. <laughs> like, you just ran over his leg and he's gonna not be having a good a good test of his medical science is oh. You bet! <laughs> no. Yeah. He's gonna walk with a limp for the rest of his life, and he is going to curse your name. <laughs> it's a good shortcut, honestly. I like it. <laughs> hey Kid Bug, thanks for joining us. I feel like it keeps getting further away. Yeah. Yeah, this is wild. Look out! Jesus. Do you hear him call it out so late? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 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 I would say so close, but no, you don't think I can do Alright, we finally reached it. Car that was quite a hectic drive. Go ahead, KGPL. 
Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> That got exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing machine guns. Whoa! Whoa. Death from above. Come on up here and get it. Whoa! Yeah, what all of all these, this? like, old pulp titles are hell. amazing. Probably so so these guys over. Finds that chunk full of hardware like oh, you can <laughs> They lose it. Bullets start flying, and they snatch up the guns and one of the cops. Head to high ground to make their stand. And the officer? Uh, up there. they have the high ground now. Still alive, alive, we think. Who knows for how I long. Do. We have to hide, bro. Keep him busy if you can find a way up, sir. Did you just leave the gun? Oh, man. You have the tiniest gun for the longest shot. Uh. <laughs> oh, Whoa! K. I've been involved in a shooting. It's code four here, but suspects are down, and I need an ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. Also oh, notify right. detective headquarters. No, I'll need the coroner. Right. My partner and I are okay. Terrific drinks. That was a bloodbath. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. You came out with a vengeance. <laughs> One of those guys killed your father. We uh, just like. Oh, <laughs> uh, we can bring these stuff. Oh, we can just rip the rest stoplight technology back to the little sign that says stop on it. Yep. And we would be great. That's the only nostalgia. Oh, the good spirit of the Yeah. That's another thing that I appreciate about these games is that they actually do reward you for investigating the world and, like, again, like the actual history. Right, it's, it's yeah. a really cool, immersive kind of way. Yeah. I mean, those those missions, those side missions aren't really storytelling. I feel like they're just little tiny, violent yeah. Spurt spurts. Yeah, they're indulgences. They're, they're indulgences. They're tiny <laughs> indulgences. <laughs> we were talking before about how, again, we like to indulge in the decadence of monstrosity. Every <laughs> once in a while you want to go out and shoot a guy in a video game. <laughs> yeah, it's your 10 yeah. yeah. You really get this. Well, and we've been talking about this for Wolfenstein, where the idea is that, like, you never feel bad about shooting Nazis, um, so, like, it's just, yeah, you're I've a little Nazis. Nazis are a good for you. Yeah. You can just, uh, you can drive a steamroller over those guys, and you're like, yep, like a toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel bad, you chose this. No, I'm not doing some stuff. No, I'm fine. Alright, we're gonna make it to this next part of the case, guys. This warehouse is probably going to be a big gunfight, too. Neat! <laughs> oh, I thought I can get a pretzel from that guy. <laughs> uh, Do you get points to stop to pretzel? Um, oh, man. That'd be my, that'd be my extension. Like I can't wait till like game, like till we get to the point of like you know the, the Star Trek. Um, <laughs> you are the driving trophy. <laughs> See, the game knows what's up. You, you literally bet. earned a trophy for your driving. <laughs> so take that. <laughs> if you don't like the driving. Um, I can't He's wait till like game they acclaimed driver. <laughs> this is Rob. I'm game acclaimed. <laughs> 
There's every day I use it for you. Uh, your Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll we take the back. Just use it, dude. To get around. Yeah. I can't wait to like gain. You, we have those little like food printers oh, in our yeah. thing. So yes. like in a game, we see a pretzel stand and we can just stop and like boop, suddenly boop. we all have warm pretzels. Yes. And we need four or five taco cartridges. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Zaire. Um, Zaire? For Shango? I never know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but <laughs> bye. <laughs> and bye. Cole Phelps, LAPD. Man all of you done. are coming downtown with me. Please. Whoa! Damn it, I like that now. Throw out the guns! This guy has nailed his, like, cop lean into a door. It looks like your partner was on a cell phone. <laughs> yeah, he's just texting over there. Yeah. You got this, right? Yeah, there are guys everywhere. Yeah. Partner? Jeez. So there's five of them. Oh! That's where you fire nice. a grenade. Wait. Absolutely. And again, if we want to be going with stereotypes that happen in story time, all of these guys are wearing these bomber jackets. Do I have another not gun? Run. That's the way. I think only if I take it from them. Yeah. Oh, I did you headshot him? Or? Oh, that, that was the key there. There you go. Oh, oh look at this room full of tough guys. Oh, Ooh, oh that's the guy getting angry. Yes, he is. Oh, man. Uh, Bobby Pullup. Bobby Pullup. Actually, I think he's wearing one of the... Oh, Jesus Christ! That guy's got his... Oh, there's the fuck. this whole How long do you think you can hold out? Which is rare. Yeah, I'm usually the reason why any podcast I've ever been on is rated explicit, so... Yeah. Also, the one we're doing now is Hannibal, so it's just gonna happen. You bet. We There's talk a nice way to talk about, like, he made yeah. four-course meal out of that man's entrails. Wow, it's beautiful. It's yeah. great. It's really exquisite. Good. All right, Shock all right, don't shoot! shoot. Keep going, oh, shoot. Oh, Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. If he moves, shoot me through him. Wait, crap. I was gonna say, yeah, check his back to see if he's Bruce Willis thing, but you know. It's... <laughs> slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. You're earning you trophies like crazy. Trophies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crushing it. Wow, that box is still there. <laughs> huh. Oh, this guy sleeps here? That's a little There's sick. just a gun on the floor in front right. of your Yeah. yeah <laughs> Chucked it as soon as he walked in. He's like, "Yep, we're done shooting." I'm done missing. shooting, Bob. I'm gonna leave yeah. this gun right in front of the face. We're gonna leave right in front of the suspect. The guy with his hands up here. I'm just gonna kick it a little closer to you. Yeah. Don't touch you. <laughs> like it's. I mean, that's a strategy. Yeah. Wild. Some packs of thingy magics. Ooh. Betting, Betting slip. Slips. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Uh -oh. oh, so he is an eye. Aha, uh -huh. someone is. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. 
Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. Oh, my goodness. I can't give you any. I like this actor, but he is doing a voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. Yes. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. Oh, my God. I need this a pink slip to sell them. Did not tell him it was no problem. not New York noir. Like... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So we're asking him about... Wow, what a face. Yeah. I'm going to just quickly remove an answer. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that. So we have, we're asking him about the pink slips, and so we'll probably, we're looking for his, oh, we yeah. want to show the, the pink slips, or do we want the betting slips? You know? I'm just going to make this one. Just oh, pink slip it. Yeah. Because he's got a box of slips. He does have a box of slips. Don't yeah. lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal. And I ordered them from Marquis. Multiple sink slips found in possession. But that doesn't mean that they're fake. He got the real ones and he's printing them. Yeah. Or no. Fake. Wait, no, no. He has a box of them, though. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. But that's not that. He clip. was saying they're legit. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is. It's just bad. We're off the hook. Yeah. For now. Uh. There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Wow. Tough guy? Life yes, ball. excellent. I moved here straight from Brooklyn He's the on beach. a train. <laughs> Likes to spend big at the track. Yo, Maybe too big. Hello all for joining us. Lightball. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. No. <laughs> he said a real face was like, right. no. There's no luck. He's not one of the guys that's over there. Calm down. Yeah. Uh, we know what we have. We know who he is, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, we just know. We just bad cop on him. Yeah. So if I go over there and check his jacket, your story's going to ring true? Mm -hmm. I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire Yay! a shot, Kappa. I just want you, you to tear my cover. place up. I got and he was a Brooklyn boy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Kappa. I'm gonna try some of my Gappa ghoul. <laughs> He's nice. quite the character. Indeed. We killed him and made a nice red go. Okay, let's go get going. Oh, All right, yeah. Ah! Ah! What? What? <laughs> what the shit <laughs> just happened? He <laughs> just picks up his head. Well, we found the driver worse than you in this town. <laughs> I know, right? A sobering reminder that uh, so life is short. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get hit by a car and pick up your hat. <laughs> Always look both directions. We're crossing. It's really important. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, oh man. Gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wow. wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> I admire the bare That's really good life advice. Yeah, that's really good life advice. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. They didn't want to get shot. Life. They shouldn't have brought yeah. guns to work. I'm not saying them are right. Yeah. Yeah. Guys like Bigelow wow, spent so much time convincing themselves that they're like not doing anything, anything wrong that they actually started to believe their own bullshit. It's sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Oh, always one of the two. I'm like trying to cut across here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Jesus oh, cold. No. <laughs> oh. Oh no. No. Yes. No. Yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yes. 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 Success. Shortcut. Shortcut achieved. I am the law. But no trophy for that. I would have given you a trophy. I would have definitely. It's a trophy called Gas, Gas, Gas. <laughs> you heard that one from me. Right? <laughs>
this is something that I will say we've been talking a little bit about, like world building and the rules of your world. Uh, I do think it is fascinating that you have never had to stop for gas in this game. <laughs> like, so it is still... Cars in the 50s used gas? gas. You bet. And by these rules, it means that this world is magic. Uh, <laughs> my god. Yes, Be this little. this was what is the word for post war steampunk? Diesel. Diesel punk, right? That's usually more fifties, but yeah. Yeah. Dick again. This dick again. I keep wanting to call him Levitol because he's a producer. Oh, Jack Levitol. Yeah. Like, I don't know, but light ball. Or Levitan. I don't think I'm a Levitan. That's what it is. That's what I think You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting dicks. to wear thin. Because <laughs> they're detectives? Yeah, no. Uh, check out. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You full signed of dead guys. Light bulb. They were alive when we showed all up. The orders and wink. deliveries. Say wink, wink. You'll need something yes. better than that, cowboy. Well, the other guy gave you up. Jack Hughes. Right? Um, oh, the gambling debts. Yeah. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof. Or I call my attorney. Well, technically, you do both of those anyway. Gambling debts. Yeah, the betting slips. It's a large debt secured by Gordon Lebo. It's him, yeah. Yeah. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, oh. I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. You yeah. also yes. talk. Gordon <laughs> Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Yeah. You're weird. You anyway. have the right to remain silent, but we encourage the you to LAPD keep talking. The LAPD Central Traffic <laughs> Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes Indeed. crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Why would he write blah, Traffic blah, blah. squad detectives <laughs> confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed That's from the scene. The people. LAPD have sustained no cash. Very small enough to have a damn fine. I got shot quite a bit. There, you also got shot quite guys, a bit. Yeah. yeah. There's some blood. Well, the fact there, that you really. are standing right now is. You look so, <laughs> so fly, though, with that sunset look. Oh, yeah. You bet. Mm -hmm. Good luck at your freshman uh, first day of high school. Hey. Oh, that's awesome! The printer's devil. The printer's devil. A slip of the tongue. I think I'm gonna get some injury dollars on this one. A dip of the dab. A no! Slip of the hey! Oh. Got it. I yes. would have flipped. Mm -hmm. We could have flipped them. Yeah. We could have flipped them. Yeah. We were good with clues. I will say that. We were terrible with questions, but we were good with clues. I will say the most accurate thing in this game so far Ooh, is the use of the funds. Thank God for it. Ooh, it's, it's, it's... My family runs a shipping war. business. Because he was in the war. Oh, yes, the war. We used to have two ships with a week Steve to Buscemi? Tokyo. Yeah, We've maybe. We've been in shipping Whoa. for two generations. Is that Sebastian Stan? I've never been on a voyage anywhere. It looks like a... Like Those are two wildly different people. Looks like a kid. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at Steve Buscemi and Sebastian Stan's son. <laughs> Look at their beautiful American boy. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette, probably going to die later. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. <laughs> the <laughs> same the shot the same of three guys, guys walking into a boat oh. over and over again. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. I believe the correct pronunciation was fighting. Wait, is the Foghorn doing the theme to Star Trek Generations? No. <laughs> it kind of did. It kind of did. Oh, I love these shots. The Dragnet building. Oh. oh, the Fallen Idol. Yeah, let's do some weird Hollywood stuff. Ah, uh, yes. I'm down. Deep. I'm ready for my close up. Oh, yeah. you bet. Oh, shit. Well, that seemed bad. 
Meanwhile... Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that? Or even drunk drive. The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Yeah. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. It's wild. Right what was the, the point street. in time when we decided what? that, like, driving while drunk was Chevy more than just a slap took on a the wrist? <laughs> <off> <laughs> like... Scarman, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Awesome drink drive. I'm doing, well, boys. We got bad guys to catch. That's before this. Well, this would be after. Yeah, yeah but, like, that's just it. Is that, like, we went for an exceedingly long time just being like, meh. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Fifteen cars. Yeah. It's you bantering with the boys. It was a tear to my eye watching my caterpillar grow. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. I hate to break it to you, Cole, but you'll never fit. Great song. I love that music. Yeah, yeah. it's gorgeous. Swell that. Don't get hit Whoa! by that. Don't get hit again! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look both ways. God, get me! No, he's still coming at you! <laughs> you gotta look both ways. Jesus Christ, one of these cards is Christine. You know that's happening. <laughs> As the chat put it, Christine's mom. I ran into the mom. <laughs> Wait, so we just have to go across the street, right? Isn't that the thing? He was like, it's really close. Where this thing happened. Yeah. I keep doing that, but that's also more of a third. Oh yeah, here we go. We Wait, go. that is amazing. That yeah. Is, yeah, I want a cola king shirt. Mm -hmm. Can we go up these stairs in the car? Oh my god. Oh, uh, we absolutely can. Yes, yeah, this is some nice game consoles at all. You're gonna hit that yes. dude when you do this. <laughs> oh no, we may be stuck. Oh no. We will try. I don't care. Gas. Gas. <laughs> Uh, the car. I love that you put on the siren it's like the car is going stuck. Help, help, help! It doesn't even move. We've oh, beached no. the car. That's We've amazing. The guy. Oh no! Careful, careful, oh! careful. careful. <laughs> that was incredible. That was really exquisitely done. Can you done. push the car? I'm yeah. trying to, but it's not letting me. That's I mean, it is a car. Really amazing. Like... Okay. All right, I guess it'll just reset. It has done that. Do we have to go up? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go. Yeah. yeah, let's just go. It's fine. The car is wherever you left it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember where you parked. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Oh, my goodness. Being a rider, you can't really help. <laughs> oh, I think it's, yeah, it's yeah, around, the, go up around the Guada. It's still Dude. further up, just because they're up there. You follow the car. And then those uh, looky loos. No, <laughs> look at him. He's just like, bring your car in here, sir. Oh, Wait, what? Yeah. yeah. The crash site. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. That is the captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still work. have juice. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry. Phelps, track. turned on the screen for a second. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. Oh, we're getting the dude jostle in here. Enrique. You know, your classic dude jostle this is in front of a body. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? I'm pretty Broad sure. Drives right through the yes, empty so lot and off the side Alex. of the escarpment. That's hilarious. For stories that cool. a movie that's producer Alex. doped her and her friend sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Oh, that yes. is absolutely. Not too yeah. bad. Hey. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, install the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. I mean, she's Tarzan's sister. <laughs> she's probably a uh, If you're looking for the coroner, he's down Real by the shouting. crash site. Real shot. Because you play Tarzan's sister. Yeah. Like all right. Her. Let's let's do some investigating. Yeah. Deal. Probably missing it up here before we go down there. Yeah. Check out. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I no, prefer to use my name. I have not started an antivirus program. June Ballard. You might oh. be familiar with some of my work. Wow. wow. Can this you tell us what happened here? Is You're kind of crushing her. Yeah. Everyone keeps hitting on me. <laughs> Dude, look at those. What about me, look at those shoulders. I'm like, she's, she's, she's yeah. I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This great. lady gets me. Uh, <laughs> wait, can I go back and 
Look for more oh, stuff first. This closest mom is my new favorite. You were giving me a thorough going over. <laughs> this is a big scene, Phelps. 1940s Cougars yeah. is an aesthetic that I strive for um, Goals. pretty heavily. Goals. You bet. You want to bug some Lucky News movie? Yeah. Was that the corner I was talking to? No, right? No, the hearse is there. I'd say also, is it possible to look around at the car? Mm. Oh, because it's down there. Yeah, 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 down. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say, yeah. we can do some investigation on a vehicle. Um, oh, perfect. Yes. It's almost like this path. There's the evidence. All right, right, it's clue o'clock. You want to see this Let's belt. clue this there, clock. Right out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. Is that just a pair of panties and a handbag? Don't just touch them, don't. <laughs> don't touch them, dude. Touch em. Don't just touch him. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. They've been torn off. Oof. Where did you find them? Oh. They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. Grim. I'll run a trace Thanks, for Thanks, Kid for joining us. The lab. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just do bra hands with the foot. <laughs> Oh, this is both upsetting, but again, games. we laugh. Video like, games. I actually think it's really fun because oh. again, like you laugh at Animal Lecter. This is this is we're we're, we're spot on with that Ooh. assessment. Oh. Please, please, Dean, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. He I'll just forget it. Temper, and he can be a very long way from home. Aunt Julie's looking. Junie, Aunt Junie. Oh. Oh, I really miss you. Don't. <laughs> no. Don't. No. No. I'm just get my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Just casually. Forensics talk. before gloves. Is yeah. Very cowboy. <laughs> it's in the gets. It's whoa. Whoa. Okay. It's like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Fucking yeah. Jeez. Unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Mm. That's true. Ragdoll. Yeah. Just a gas pedal, maybe? The guy was fiddling pretty good with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just looking around. Yeah, oh, no, look around you, Rules. It's always, always good. You never know what you find. Five bottles of kill them all rolled down here. My god. It's a new drug, kill them all. Mm. <laughs> here it's great at parties, though. 20 cents for parking? That's the real revelation there. No. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Uh, <laughs> That's a bit too far, actually. Yeah. Alright, I think we got... Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. That is not okay. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Ah, like from a Tarzan, maybe? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris perhaps? would be my first guess, then painted. <laughs> so we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Oh. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Wow. Well, I don't know where Carlo Ren goes. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Bet you Dick, she's not telling us the whole story. Dick's the other cop. That's fine. <laughs> Are we in, like, Griffith? Is this Griffith? This kind of looks like Griffith, yeah. It's got a real Griffith-y vibe. Yeah. Oh, shoulder pads, take me away. Yes. The movie actress and driver of the crashed Chevy Skyline. Yes. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claimed that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. Mm. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. 
I can't remember. Do we agree with that? Can we ask her about the curio? The, the, the head? Yeah. I think... I don't believe you, Mrs. McGrath. Oh, no. The story's too far-fetched. I think you were drunk and lost control of the car. No. Well, I suggest you get the results of a blood test first before you go shooting off your mouth. Yeah, because here's the thing. Unless she... you have some other proof. How is that flirting? Yeah. How is that flirting? Here's, here's the thing. She, like, she's very confident, uh, and she puts on that voice when I think she's, she's again, like, feeling a little bit more smug. The other one, she was very genuine, I think. Her voice actually yeah. changes when she seems to be telling the truth. The underwear might be a good. Because it's, yeah. Uh, so Jessica is told to come home. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin, and there's underwear. So you think that there's somebody to accuse here? Well, maybe, I actually, Michael mentioned the prop shrunken head before, and it's very clearly connected to her with her movie, so I'm wondering. Right, but yeah, this particular question. Her of doing it. Yeah, yeah, right. So the way the game's rules work. Yeah. I would ask about the letter. Sorry. Yeah. Sometimes right. you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Um, God, she's... I'm becoming yeah. a good girl for I don't know, I'll ask her about the letter. Do, do, do what you're going to do. <laughs> Who drugged you, Mrs. McAfee? Mm -hmm. You really are a cute detective. But a little too naive for my taste. I disagree. Ah. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Lots more. A lot more, yeah. Um, so what do you think? Bad cop? Yeah. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough sweetheart, as the saying goes. Gross. Gross. We're still going to be doing streams with those guys. It's not, uh, anyways. Yeah, I'll be on... Um, anyways, uh, no. We found a shrunken a head oh, that was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. <laughs> That's fair. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. And then I had this thought of like, I should try something new. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Just okay. get a real Glenn Close totally did it look. Um, yeah. So wait, like what she... Just said Whoa. was yeah. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Well, she's the actress, so she would have the hat. Yeah. So accuse. Mrs. McAfee, you're lying. Yeah. Wasting our time. You know what's going on here. You just won't tell us. You're sweet, but simple too. The burden of proof is with the law. You should run along with her. No. no. Don't worry yourself. This will okay. all get so It's hard sometimes out. when I'm paying attention to the chat. This is the way things get um, done in Hollywood. Guys, Mrs. I didn't McCaffrey, do very well there. I think it would be in everyone's best interest. We are just bad luck for you. Yeah, we are really bad. Receiving hospital. I'm being taken in. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. Oh, we got a good, good Sonny there. Jim in there. Let's we'll see what we can shake out of the kid. Also, the good my husband will hear about this is the new my father. Where's Jessica Hamilton? I didn't know she was still here. Uh, I think she was she in the hospital. The hospital, yeah. Oh. So let's get back uh, to we got a phone. Room. A phone icon. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, there are the stairs. We get back to the stairs where we left <laughs> Maybe the car. Where we left the car. car. <laughs> That's good. Oh good, the car is Oh, the oh, car is still there, ladies and gentlemen. Still a beach right, well, let's ah. make it to the phone real quick. That might be a problem. <laughs> He's good. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective Phelps. Car crash victim Jessica Hamilton has regained consciousness in Central Receiving Hospital. She's ready to be interviewed. 
Thanks. Okay, let's go back, take our car. If we can't get the car up the stairs, let's steal that blue car, croquet our car back down the stairs. Oh, and then get back in our car. Deal. Yes. <laughs> deal. Because it means I get to drive a different car down the stairs. You bet. And possibly get it stuck as well. You bet. Ooh. Another trophy. Right? So I will say, not doing great with the questions, but you're racking up gold with those trophies. Yeah, you better run. You bet. This is police business. Oh, no. You we are going to hit a lot of pedestrians doing this, but it's too late. Let's have fun. Gun it. Gun it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're waiting we for a partner. We've been beached again. All right. Yeah, now we're stuck again. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. just as soon as we got in, we got stuck again. Yeah. So we have to get another car to croquet this car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we got to do that. Car. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yes. Creative problem. Pin, ball, this, shit. I love it. Okay, yeah, no deal. So you got to give this one speed. Yeah. Don't uh, Ramming uh, speed. <laughs> ramming speed. Time to lead foot this. Ramming I mean, speed. Lined up. Yeah, ramming speed. I just want to hit my partner. Oh, I mean, fun. he'll be fine, yeah. You took a car to the face like five yeah. oh, Yes, <laughs> ramming speed! It's working! Oh, it it's landed on the dude! Oh no, it didn't work! No! My wait, wait, oh, wait! Okay. Oh no! Now we're just wedged in real deep. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, yes! Oh! This is great, this is going perfectly yes. well. Yes! Ramming speed, yes! yes. <laughs> Great, I'll just get back into our car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me just get out of here. It's perfect. Uh, oh, no! We can get to the other way. It's fine. Okay. Can we open a door into a rock? Let's find out. Uh, I think we'll just phase through the car, probably, right? Right? No, no? it's definitely how it works. We've already established other... that in a world where you don't have to fill up for gas, uh, clearly it's yeah. magic, so All the right. answer is maybe. So I guess get into the other car with <laughs> that out of the way. Get out of here, Fonz, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is exquisite. This entire exchange is genuinely... Wow, that guy's tie! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I think this is... You climb in through the trunk. Oh, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm cooked. I think I can't get into the car. I have to go oh, get another car and go... Get uh, car. Oh, no. Dang. You know, sometimes you really just need to experiment with what you can do. You just push three people! <laughs> I want in this car! Can you get in that car now? No? Oh, no. Oh, man. All right, so let's use this car to knock that <laughs> car out of the way of our car, and then get back. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, wait, we can do this. Oh, okay. creative problem solving. Yeah. See, sometimes you can make your own stories in these open world games. Absolutely. <laughs> get out of the way. Yeah. We're doing it's police business. Police, police business. business. <laughs> Move. Gently nudge it. Well, if we can, if we can line it up to push that. Car there we back go. Yeah, yeah, up. yeah. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas, gas, gas. Gas, gas, gas. 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 Uh, we can't get back to car eleven, King. Give us a second. We're in car. Oh, okay. Gas, gas, gas. Oh. Gas, gas, gas. It's like two dogs making out. Um. Oh. <laughs> How am I doing? <laughs> I think this is worse than ever. Oh crap. <laughs> Uh, maybe back this one out now? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 we can do this. Yeah. If all else fails, we can go back around to the top of the bridge, <laughs> get another car from up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, man. We're actually doing that. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, this oh, if I can get up there, uh, oh, see if it in there. Oh, it does oh, can not. we climb up over these cars to get up? Can you jump this car, maybe? They don't talk about other people. What? This guy is. <laughs> he's, he's having his own little. <laughs> he's, okay. Uh, he's in his own little so private Idaho. It's fine. Other um, side, maybe? Oh, this is just a real side mission we've yeah. stumbled straight into. There's a part of me that feels like we should be the reasonable adults and just find another car and move on. But also, <laughs> no. there's another part of me that is just really, really luxurious. Like, how far do you think I'd have to walk yeah. okay, so or drive to get? Yeah, walking. really, really luxuriating in the... Oh, wow, oh, there's just a traffic me? jam now. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, wow. 
No, oh man! We're going, we're going for round five? Is that what this uh, is? Uh, I want my car! <laughs> so how do we get back to the top of that? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go somewhere else. That's a good call. I think I lost the car, guys. Yeah, oh man. Oh. Jeez, and you are taking it out on the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just fully abandoned your part <laughs> I think the game was like, you know what, enough. <laughs> Let's just get to the hospital. Enough. <laughs> uh, enough of this shit? Yeah. No. Oh, like, it also moved the car for us. Thank hey, you. it moved the car for us. <laughs> oh. All we had to actually. Oh. Detective Phelps. Uh, here to minor detour, with Jessica guys. Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Are you guys who are oh, yeah. crashing the same the car for five right minutes behind. outside? You can't hold me here. <laughs> To be manhandled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, where is the telephone? Feeling better since this morning, Jessica. Do you know who I am? A little. My head still feels sweaty. Wow. Uh, do just we like, have more evidence? Let me just metal check. Yeah. Who is the screaming person? I think it was the other that lady. Was Starlet lady. We'll be down the other. Whoa, okay. Whoa, yeah, this is all. Oh. Hey. No, I think we just go talk to her. Yeah, I think let's talk to her. Maybe it'll open something. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Okay, so a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, <laughs> but Do like, you play good cop or bad. Cop? I feel like she's a kid, That's and good. so like good cop. Uh, yeah. 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 Took off bad cop, so let's just go. Yeah. You could have died in the crash, Jessica. Why would someone want to kill you? Someone wants to kill me? I wouldn't know anything about that. I just went along with Junie. She knows all about the movie business. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. That's a lie! Oh yeah, shippy eyes. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's oh, difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. Oh, honey. I think I must have passed out. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Uh, and again, I'm just like, I'm not sure how to best proceed with yeah. this. Yeah. So you don't want to accuse, we don't want to be bad cop, obviously, we want to be yeah. good cop. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Hey. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Hey. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. Better. If you Doing think better. of anything or if you need some help, just get in touch, okay? No, 66%. Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We, we should, should follow, follow her. her. We gotta follow her by car. We're screwed. <laughs> Look! I am a reasonably... <laughs> we left the car parked with two other cars. 
in a bridge. Not okay. in a bridge, not on a bridge. <laughs> in a bridge. I think that this is important to note, though. The driving has gotten exceedingly better. What we've proven is that you're maybe not so good at this. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. <laughs> All we've learned is croquet. That's good. Learn. Yeah. Ah. Good bad. Because this is, oh, that mixing side. Too close, side. Phelps. Way too close. I super dig this like subtle follow the she car music. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Speedy, because she's in. This is Broadway, this is downtown. Yeah. There are not nearly enough people in superhero costumes. Hey, we're Thank you guys, everyone who's here, for contributing, for cheering, for all that things. Yeah. We're really having a fun time screaming. Absolutely. Um, Get in there and see what she's up to. Oh, what is she up to? Now steal her car. Yeah. <laughs> phone calls. Oh, booth with a newspaper. Oh, right there. there. On the left. Baby? What? When? How? How did I fail there? I don't okay, know. Okay, well hopefully it starts us right around there. All right. Hey! Help is well. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna be stealthier. The controls are confusing. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Get in there and see what she's up to. Oh, there are cameras in the background there. Okay. Oh, Favorite. What does this guy think of you? <laughs> this hiding, crouching behind his chair. Mm -hmm. In autumn. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. I want Ooh. him dead. Don't. Well, then make someone else do it. Don't give him a fish. Teach him a fish. Don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm going to be. You're what? Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I got the film. Nice little, yeah, it's a nice little dollar shop there. <laughs> Let's investigate some sort of apartment. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty stealth. Yeah. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. Correct. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel. Uh, yes, greater movie season. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Before he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad This is What did you make of the kid? Did you believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Oh, that is... <laughs> on your car are gone. <laughs> I don't think slowing down was the problem, Mr. Parker Bell. Yeah. Well, if Ballard was doing Look, someone a favor. I had a, I was a shortcut and I made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. 
Because there's that wind in, the wind that we see back in the middle of the floor of the series. Go ahead and stick in a block of ice on the roof. All back. units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 of progress and apartment here. Wilson's apartment hotel. Is that billboard? I think it's a Captain Salty. <laughs> Oh yeah, the saltines. Oh, Captain yeah, Saltines. saltines. Yeah. Well, it's, it is Captain Salty, but it's, okay. they're like fake saltines. That's Johnny, another thing I want. Get to the apartment before Always someone gets hurt. Yeah. We're so so Captain Salty, I think is my Guys, where we're going, we don't need doors. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. Mine is still standing. Yeah. The coffee well, yeah. Oh, yeah. That hotel still looks like that. I know. It's Jesus, Cole! I just want the audience, the viewers, to get to see our characters a little bit. Oh yeah, no, it's a... <laughs> I, I want them to <laughs> really be, feel like... Way of doing I feel that, like yeah. doors are barriers, and I'm trying to bring down the barriers, guys. We're in the car with them as they <laughs> just hold off for their lives. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, Jim McGee. Yeah, you better run. Get, to get some money for these doors. Yeah, wow. I'm Detective Phelps. We received oh. a call about a domestic oh, disturbance Butlerman? in apartment 803. Um. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. It's like Josh Hutcherson's older brother? Maybe. <laughs> With like a weird slick what did he say, back. Did he say go? Did he say go up or no? Uh, I believe so. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Mm. Thanks again uh, to our moderators, by the way, X Matrix Gamer and Oh, fantastic. yay! Thank you. Oh, great outfit. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful mess. The lady Bones. Injured, Mrs. Not Bones herself, Bishop. but the other lady. Gloria Bishop. Sweets' his wife. Please. Oh! Come in, officers. Really? I like that. I'll lady. just need I to like sit down lady. for a moment. Forget oh, yeah. Me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess. We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. Thank you for I, the cheers. I will. Thank you, officer. Ah, uh, these fake movie posters are exquisite. Frontiers oh. Revenge. Oh, that's Fortune such a Star Wars. Yeah. A, oh wow. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, these are exquisite. The stairwell. Oh, so cool. <laughs> these are amazing. Yeah. Night, Night Train. Ah, oh. oh, yes, the classic film Night Train. Oh, these are really good. Oh. Posters. Wow. Yeah. The Happy Jet. Fight game. Fight. Game. Oh wow. The jet or the happy jet. Jungle drum. Wow. Oh, these guys, are these are yeah. again, this these is beautiful super texture. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. The clock strikes. Murder. Oh close, yeah, there we go. Teamwork. Teamwork, nice teamwork. Found it. This is a very sparsely decorated home. Yeah. Oh, it has been tossed, that's right. Yeah. Oh, you don't get to do like the little. I just uh, wonder why they have a red murder room. Because, like, every other room in this house is like, oh yeah, here's a kitchen. Here's where a couch lives. Red murder room. Oh, it's the 40s. You painted every room a different color. Not That's fair. Job. But again, red murder room is very specific. It's just, you know, they've got a real scarlet thing going. Ooh. Guys, I found it. I cracked the case. Fork! <laughs> That's irrelevant. You bet! <laughs> You need a new ma meme to fan art, um, Garrus of Arcarian. I don't know. I've parked my cars on top of a lot of cars, but yeah. Like, but he did just do the driving meme. Yeah. <laughs> Presented to Mark. That is I a love super this. realistic title. I love this. <laughs> like, honestly, it is. Oh yeah. I love when we've been seeing like fake murder on a train. Fake everything else. We just have gay cowboys, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My favorite movie, Gay Cowboys. Ooh. That seems check. relevant. That does. We should check that check. Oh. Wow. What do, do to earn $20,000? Because I'd like to know. That's yeah. a qu I, I'm asking that question too. Yeah, that would be really nice. 
Please tell me. Yeah. Where's Mr. Peace when you need him? Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Optimistic call. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are just pantyhose. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's other side of the bed, yeah. Hey. Hey. It doesn't appear to be connected. How is that not connected? That's a lippy. I don't think so. Nope. What's the picture? Oh. oh. Probably nothing. Can we check the picture? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, I think we found what we need in this room. Yeah. There's the Gay Cowboys poster. That's great. It's just what I wanted it to be. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Can we get to check that book? Yeah. Which book? There's a book on the, sh on the, the, the cabinet there. I don't know if that was something we could actually look at. No. No, dang. Damn. Oh, Gay Cowboys looks like a great flag. I know! My favorite flag, Gay oh. Cowboys. There we go. Junk. It's a nice vase, you dick! Junk. No, uh... <laughs> incidental. I don't know, maybe. It's not an incident. It's a very important book, Cole. <laughs> Some might say it's a good book. Okay. It's the best book. <laughs> it's not a cat, dude. <laughs> You're the best book. You're a good book. Nope. You're not a jazz man? There we go. All right. Hey! Here we go. Pictures of dudes. It's like we found our mermaid. Meatheads. Who are these men in the picture? Oh, there's the mermaid. My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. And it's a prop shop! Oh, uh-oh. Oh, this is coming together, guys. Ha-ha! Sherrod, you are! I think we solved the case. Let's jump off the balcony down to the car. <laughs> Do I have that sunroof? Let's open the other door. Okay, let's let's dump into this We should talk to a lady, yeah. Uh... Good face. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Norton? Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. <laughs> Ooh, she has been my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. I did it. My no. husband's a uh, movie wait, producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. She's got better pearls than Ballard did. Correct. Ballard's pearls look like they were inside her neck. Well, this is a producer's watch as compared to an actress. Well, I just mean the actual rendering of the pearls. Oh, also that. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> probably. Yeah. That's also. So, huh. I feel like... She's got a real snooty vibe. Yeah. You think bad cop? I uh, thought she was being honest. But... I thought she was being honest as well. Look, at she's got kind of a sassy pout there. A kind of a, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. I'm better than y'all. You're not seeing the same <laughs> You're not seeing the look on my face, chat, but it's it's concerned. Okay. You can't um, see the look on your face, but also it's a sassy pal. Okay, uh, so what do you think? I'm thinking... Chat, that... what do you think? Yeah, I was gonna say... Is it a sassy pout, chat? I want the chat to help me with this particular one. Yeah, can we call... get on with this? Oh my thing? god, calm wow. down, lady! Well, we're gonna bad cap you now. Yeah. <laughs> Chat's not, uh... Yeah, I think the chat's not... Bad cop! Bad cop! Thank Ballard you, Max said guy. she had a deal to be in his and new picture. Bar, Jay. Mark repeatedly told her no. Oh, sorry, Dark Star. He had it. Joan oh. Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. The pocket cool. Is he 167? Yes. She was very so she go? You know June friends. Ballard? We were both on the same picture Good work, chat. a few years back. Teamwork. That's how I met my husband. Oh. Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. That's all we know, right? Yeah. He told me on set. Good cop, right? There's no yeah. way we don't have Yeah, she's pretty straight faced here. Yeah. She's not being sassy. Either right? we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. That's fair. We'll only shoot him five times. I They'll do shoot care him for more him. than five times. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. 
Hopgood might know. Hey. That was a good one. We did that. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood twenty thousand dollars? Ooh. Lorna? Marlon's ex wife? Are you sure? Yes. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? <laughs> Would you like to prove that, Detective? I found it in your bedroom! Ding. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him nice if you were more helpful. Right? Well done, yeah. We pulled that through. He's it a took big us like boy, four cases, but we're getting there. There's a thing. There's always this is, a There's pretty much the rhythm each of these streams is gone. <laughs> it's just like two cases of just failure. Oh, there's telephone. Oh, hey. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cold Hello. Phelps, batch 147. Welcome. How could I help, Detective? Now I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Needs just a moment. Narrow it down. It's like asking me for an expendable store, dude. Come on. Corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. I need to buy some grip tape. Well, go to a Target. I don't know. God. I just Get wanted that, that fork. fork again. Get I know. That fork. I don't want fork, man. The My important thing is, it. can you use it as a weapon in a fight later, since you can take other people's guns? I'm not Jason Bourne. <laughs> I know, but you could fork a gun, and that would be really just a sight to see. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. Movies, movies, it's an L.A. noir. <laughs> like, well, welcome back to the stories that have given us. A lot. Really none of them can act. Boring. Well, Boring. It's rather the restraint of it not all being. Like, yeah. This starlet got shot by a producer, man, who was connected to the... I mean, we're doing that right now. Yeah, but that's what actually... I mean, like, we were even talking about that with the last case, just being like, this one's not the Law & Order episode you would tune into, but they still managed to make it very compelling with the... I don't get out! Okay, I'm that I, I'm not sure about. Um, Let me out! Oh, I'm gonna take a pee. That's good. I don't want to see that on a video game. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's very accurate. They got a lot of dots on it. Look at that. They got the angle of a dangle. Perfect. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> they spent millions of dollars. Motion tracking. I think the guards are carrying the answer is both. Yeah. You should draw me in a dress with those <coughs> on top of a stack of cards. Yes! Yes. Um, That's accurate. Let him reign as queen over the pile of fallen vehicles. <laughs> My recommendation, just like full Taurus Satana outfit from Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll yeah. be a good look for Rog, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Which one first? Ooh. Well, it's Bishops is listed first, so I feel like it's saying let's do that. Let's go to Wilshire. Oh, yeah. is that this, where this, we are? This yeah. was where we drive. are. Um, <laughs> All right. So where do you want to go? Let's go to Silver Screen Props, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I want to drive. Yeah. Oh. Final famous last oh. <laughs> Another Roger, KGPL. 11K yes. en route. Oh, wait. That's where we are. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kid broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. <laughs> Good punctuation. Oh, Perfectly timed. I own the road. Fair with me. Let's take a mission. Okay. Fired. Straight through at the next junction. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that I just, we're also doing during the week, we've been doing a Layers of Fear um, horror 
podcast, which has been a fantastic one with my friend Jess. We did two parts. We did another part this week, so you can find it on YouTube. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. And we're going to finish sometime this week. I'll, I'll be scheduling it in the next couple days. Highly recommend that to huh? How layered is the food? It's been extremely layered. No, the funny thing is, it's a really creepy game. It's really well done. Oh, thank you. And, um, and what was cool was that we, uh, after we finished the first time uh, we did the run, Jess and I were like, we need, we need to decompress. And we went and got ice cream across the street at Menchie's. And as we sit at the table, her, her cup is sitting on top of a little drawing of a kid eating um, ice cream. And it says layers of F. And then we were like, we moved the cup and it was fun. Oh no! Oh yeah, wow! That's an actual layer. That's of a fear. fake out in an actual horror movie. <laughs> like, uh, that is. Gone sour. Someone is not Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get into the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep see, it busy. See, I'm better at this than you, buddy. Um, let's go. By the back. Ooh, got some spooky music building. You bet. Yo ho. Cool, oh, great. Cool, nice little cool, bit of parkour. Cool, cool. Kick down that door. Oh, that wall knows who its boss is now. Mm-hmm. You yeah, bet. Yeah, you take it, wall. LAPD. Wall division. Throw off the gun. Oh! Action, 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 action. Oh, <laughs> Same uh, murder guy bomber jacket. You bet, again. There was a deal at the Macy's. You bet. Or, again. Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, Stay uh, down. Building store from the 1940s. Let us know in the chat. Yeah. Well, again, like if the indicator that like red lips like she was up to something. Get out kind of stuff. Again, like the the I stand by this. Sweater vests are good boys. <laughs> Gang boy jackets are bad boys. Gang boy jackets are bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, every set of stairs in this game is the funniest set of stairs in this game. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 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 what just happened? I don't know, but your heart is like, it's like a... <laughs> I like, I clicked hide, and it, just instead of hiding, you just jumped stairs. off the thing. <laughs> what just happened? And there's like, like, there's a little break here. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, oh that That's is so wild. weird. Oh man. We've got a final guy. A we... last poor hat. We barely knew you. I know. Hat will come back. I have... Oh, whoa. This guy's got John Hamm hostage. Put the weapon down now. Wow, he might. <laughs> <laughs> Let no. John Hamm's the Joker go. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Ow! <laughs> that really hurt! <laughs> you gotta look where you randomly jump off a stair. But I got my hat back. Oh yeah, hat's back. You know, but like, literally, I went in into the motion of hiding yeah. and just fell. Oh, poor. Jewelry. It's code so four now, but the suspect yeah. oh is God, down. Amazing. I need an ambulance here. I notify my just supervisor just like, in the corner. Just escaping the scene like, yeah. no, I wasn't there. Ah! Oh, that really hurt! Who throws his shoe? Honestly. Burn <laughs> bullets for men who know the quality. Here's the bullet. The bell is more police guards and fire engines than any other leading gasoline. Drive into your allegorical station and ask them to look under the hood and give them a little bit of 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 a little bit Police U ball in progress. Uh, Ooh, we can get some snacks. Uh, that's a uh, 47 version of a taco truck. There's a KBBQ uh, truck. Ooh. It's the Angel's Fight. It is Angel's hey. Fight, yeah. That would explain the snacks. Nice. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us. This is Welcome to My Story Now It's Fire. This is my, this show. This is my Twitch. I don't know, what do we do here? I'm drunk. Let's get Don't. some uh, street food, man. Yeah. <laughs> the tobacconist. Oh! 
lady is dropping her flowers and running away. She fucking better be. Thor Adam Alice did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Stirp burps. Yep. Furniture. Let's prop this shop. Kick it. No. Oh. Felt and Bukowski, oh, LAPD. Still. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. What? Mm. Oh, that is not a good bear. Yeah. I gotta say, like, and this is some good storytelling in its own right. Like, as a lady in Hollywood, this mission is uncomfortable. Like, yeah. it really, like. Yeah. I wish I could say working out here is different now, but. Mm -hmm. oh. No? Of course, you've got a creepy garage in the back. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't like this. Yeah. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's yes. this got to do with me? Don't uh, try my patience, it's knucklehead. It's creepier than a creepy magazine? I don't tell you, man. This magazine actually called Creepy. Uh, Night Train. Night Train. I did see Gay Guy. What was it going to make me? Like yeah, we're good. Oh, there's two 40 years. Oh, wow. Gay Cowboys! It's when they didn't make enough big movie posters. Yeah. Oops. These are gorgeous map paintings, though. I would not keep them outside. That's a really good call. <laughs> Touche. Maybe they're getting shipped out to places or something, but I would Ooh. not keep them outside. Ooh. Hey! Creepy loft. Oh, you bet. Oh, this is going to be a story. So this, they do these really cool things where we're getting this little, like, overarching story mm -hmm. from this headlines. And so when you find a cool. newspaper, you get a little... Ooh! Cool. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. Oh, this guy! This fucking guy! I love That's this guy. <laughs> I've said that a lot. I love yeah. this guy. <laughs> I don't know his name for the life of me. Yeah. But I we love have a him. problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my yeah, boy right? Lenny yeah. looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Yes. Lenny promised that wouldn't the happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. And how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work oh, is to do some repackaging. Mm -hmm. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, serrettes. Great. And put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Okay, none of that smoke went into that man's body. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey! You don't like my offer? The silent walking away was a clue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, like a Sheldon great did. tie. I think I want yeah, to dead. Yeah. Like a despicable guy. Yeah. Great tie. All of a sudden. Interesting. Cool. And a phone at the table. This guy. Mm hmm. This guy's got it going on. I don't like him, but I. I'm not going to bore you with the chemistry, but, uh... <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey! Oh! Can you grab the other identical to the murder one one? So this is where you sprang from.
Oh no, those are definitely haunted props. I, yeah. I mean, everybody on the stream, you're on the crystal. Oh, ooh, dark. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I can't, be, I, I feel like curses are against Twitch's TOS. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I feel like we may, um, uh -oh. yeah, right? Wait, is, is that wall a painting of a wall? <laughs> oh, wow. That's, what? That's a really spectacular joke that wow. some design guy threw in there. And uh, and I appreciate that joke. Yeah, that's Dang. one kind of meta gag. Yeah. Oh, hey. oh let's play some drums. Oh, also, those are the statues from the ladies' house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good catch. There's a Spartan helmet back there as well. It's also the exact bear from the lobby. So maybe this Cola really King. Hey. Ooh, those helmets are messed up. <laughs> I can't stop oh. oh. Bullseye. Bullseye. This is just an Ikea. We're not too far. Yeah, this game's long. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna, like, maybe take a, like, take a few weeks, like, to try some other things, too, because this game is yeah. super long, and I don't want to, like, play Broken this game ex exclusively but yeah. i might move it to do some good stuff for weekdays just so you guys know nice um and yeah. uh and play through it and then get maybe through some larger chunks and then like get some other things for like hmm. all right so i don't think we're gonna find something back here oh but the oh, office, office the office yeah i was gonna say now that he's ledger maybe? oh yeah that big old blue ledger Can we get behind the desk Oh, door. What? Door. Can we go through the door? Weirdly? Door. Through the door. Okay, I think it's for time to go talk to him. Okay. I think we did our detective work. What do you guys think? I I think so. Yeah. Let's find out. Do we look at? Let's look at the room in here. Have we checked anything in here? Check this shit's oh. oh, real creepy. Oh, we got some pills. Oh, wow, I don't like that. Don't like that. Doping yeah. a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Yep, it's pretty fucked up. Mm, yep, there's. Oh, man. Why was she messing with shrunken heads? And, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't want to know. I don't like it. Oh, there's films. Check the films. Oh, and there's a mirror, and you know it's two-way, and it's fucking creepy as shit. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. You bet. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Yeah. Gross. One way yeah. mirrors. They're making oh. movies. There's a room on the other side. Oh. They're no. making movies. Oh. You gotta check that film. Oh. She's talking about the film. Yeah. Into that peep tent. So they have got a great big pile of uh, other wall. Ooh, good catch with the heads. Why are there so many heads? They have a fetish. They're doing um, a Tarzan porno. It's like those superhero ones where yeah. they get all the all the stuff exactly right. They're doing like a Tarzan. <laughs> where are these films? Oh, right there. There we go. Can we check those out? Oh, oh no. damn. All right. All right. Well, I think we've got a pretty. I think we have a pretty good idea of what was going on here. An inferior. Yeah, this is going to help us. But it is left over from Gay Cowboys. True. Yeah. It's an authentic gig. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's gonna help you. Oof. But for our circumstantial stuff later. Yeah. Getting answers out of this fucking guy. Yeah, let's let's talk to this fucker. Oh, we're not. Whoa. 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 This is spooky. Yeah. Oh, it's the same uh, makeup box. Yeah. Sure this means much. The pink box. Yeah. I don't know if it's a manipulative prop. It's Can't probably just the like same films. manipulative prop. Couldn't fit a rat through there. Duplicating yeah. Prop that Oh man, there's a lot of doors in here. Oh, it's this is also creepy. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. Yeah. Wait, how do we get into this fake room? Uh, you know. Oh, it would be um, it'd be around the other way. Yeah. It's not here and here. No. No, I'm not or sure. Can you pull the? Yeah, I'm trying now. No. So it'd be down this hole the other way, wouldn't it? 
bathroom. No, it's right there. Oh, yeah, because it'd be. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it is the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, got it. You just. So they, they. Yeah. It's in the middle here. Yeah. Weird. Might be time to talk to a prop guy. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So, yeah. Those are all three. The bishop is doing work for his studio. <laughs> yeah. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre production, though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. This is a twitchy mofo. Okay. Haven't seen him around in a while. Yeah. But we know that. I mean, yeah, the heads are weird. The chloral hydrate is fresh out of the bottle. Yeah. Uh, the shrunken head molds might be... Any evidence that he was here, though? Oh. Mm. No, I don't think so. Don't think Wait, so. the check was to His a wife. good, though, wasn't it? Yeah, and there's a date on the wife. check. I can't decide if that's overthinking it or No, not. yeah, I don't think there's any of that. I just think that there's bad, there's a bad, bad cop. Bad cop, yeah, good call. He was here yesterday, and something happened that pushed him over the edge. You're holding out on us, Hopgood. You know, I have very good connections with the Vice Squad. And well, there's a surprise. They won't appreciate you coming in here and strong-arming me. Shit. What? That's all I get? That. I guess we're gonna find the creeper room, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we can find the middle room. Does it would have to be... Wait, I'm just confused on why I'm not, like, shaking this guy down for that. Yeah. I feel like there was some pretty direct evidence towards this is pretty effed. Um... All right, well, I think we can definitely go back to her with a lot more evidence. Oh, absolutely. So I feel like we found what we needed to here. Yeah. Hmm. It's all starting to come together. Let me just make sure that's what he thinks. I have some friends in the LAPD, so I won't be leaned on. So what next? The room behind the mirror makes our case. We need to find a way. Got it. Okay. All right. Hey. So maybe the curtains. Are... I'm wondering if it's the chain in the bathroom. Damn. The chain in the bathroom does make sense, but I think we couldn't interact with it. Yeah, it was a mirror in the bathroom, so I feel like yeah. it's a, they can look through all of that, which is real creepy. Yeah. Right. Is there anything that we were, like, manipulatable? Like, mechanical? Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, I was thinking, too, could it be um, that painting of the wall outside? Yeah, it might be something in this room, because, like, yeah, what is that little mirror? Have we tried to interact with the top mirror? That's... I don't think this is any use to us. Yeah, because it's closed right now. That was my only thought. Mm. Is that there's some, there's so much to interact with in this room. Yeah, we can interact it dumps his mooses. Yeah. Huh. Um. Hey, we'll, we'll go outside in a second, but... Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a light switch thing. Uh, yeah, chain. Chain yeah. yeah, Right, I'm pressing X all over the place. I'm not getting anything. Yeah, dang. This is Maybe wild. the mirror side? I meant the bathroom mirror, but... Yeah. Can't you just smash it? Anyway. <laughs> I mean, you could, but... I guess not. Alright, let's go around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, is that fake wall painting in the key? Mmm. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Yes! Yes! It wasn't just 
just a joke. Oh, that's spectacular. Yeah. His reaction to that would have been my reaction. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, really? Yeah. This is dumb. <laughs> the door. Kick. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I hate what this. What if they saw this, how so many bathroom. budding starlets yeah. would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood? What is on the table next to... Yeah, there's all this Thumbs, creepy yeah. stuff, yeah. Whoa. That's just a swear word. Bishop. Jungle Drums, 8th and Francisco. That's sad. Attention, Mark Bishop. Mm -hmm. Hey. Crazy man. You should just keep that for later. Yeah. Uh, it's just better just so you guys know. Uh, we're, you know, almost at two, so I don't know if you have to run or if we can. you want to finish the case. It's with you guys. Oh. Well, I'm going to finish the case. Yeah, I'm going to okay. finish the case, yeah. I want to see who, uh... I want to see these fuckos get their comeuppance. Oh, I think that that's... Man. Oh, I want to see these fuckos get their comeuppance. So what oh. happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Huh. Ooh. I can't check the camera. Hmm. Hey, right, I think we're good to that. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Oh, I hate that. Weird. I don't like it. No. Yeah, these people aren't good people. No. Mm. Let's go shoot them. Yep. Deal. Hey, we found your creepy murder room. Uh, do you want to maybe talk about that? Explain that, like a little bit, or even like a lot of bit. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Okay. Mm. Um. I'm just like trying not to. So it's not a cue, so it's bad cop or good cop. Yeah. I say we bad cop him. There's no reason to be nasty to this guy. Sorry. I think he I'm was warning you, Hopgood. Sure. If you give him up to McAfee and we find out about it, wind it back a notch, tough guy. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. Ugh. That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Bells. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. A You've been roughing suit. up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important... This is another actor who I'm like, Look dang, that it's that mug. guy. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Gross. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no. Not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap. But, uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is gonna get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Oh. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. Oh. You let us know if you find hands Bishop. Small, yeah, he has baby hands. Very tiny little baby hands. He is Robin Little Baby you once, hands. Gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We baby will be bringing Mark hands. Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. 
The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Ooh, look at this guy. Is that clear enough for this you? This is how your partner gets, like, Now run along back to your boss so we can pat one. you on the head and tell <laughs> right? you what good boys you are. This is how you get a new partner. Yeah, too shy. Right. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this guy. Yeah, oh. this, is, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I, You're in a fight now. Oh god. Nope. They are going to keep shooting you dead until you car. Oh man. They really don't want anybody getting a fish before they Dang. Do. It's like watching a car chase in a Batman the Internet series. Keep it steady. I'll try and bust his tires. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Can you just get out the pistol with him? Is that an option? <laughs> or just... Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like just... Like, you can just off these things. I feel like wow! in the car, right? Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! That should have been so much more complicated. You bet! <laughs> Oh, there are more cars of guys. Okay. Oh, okay. There's, there's more cars of guys. Five more cars of guys. You're oh, you're oh, 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 Jesus. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You know what? Yeah, you're from the Oh, care. no. Oh. <laughs> First of all, where did that shooting come from? That was all unexpected. Let's do this again, but I'm going yeah. I'm, I'm to be a little more with my wits. That's okay. I'm going to do this right. I am going to be a bit of a jerk, and I'm going to use the restroom. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Go for it. No, oh. I know I'm the worst, too. That's fine. Oh. Oh, let's see if we can. Bell. Oh, this dick again? Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. Whew. This is clearly a vice case. Vice You've been case. roughing up my informant? I'm gonna look up who's playing. How good is Earl. a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very mm. important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? <laughs> so we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives. Johnny Goldberg. I wish I could goodbye. You work for Mickey yes. C. Yes. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who fucked up Mrs. Bishop earlier today. Actually, is there... You can do the opposite thing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can skip the uh, the action sequences, but you can't skip. Uh... Huh. That's it's funny. It's the opposite from like. No, no, not us. We don't I do that. I was fast. I think. It's the <laughs> husband we'd like to talk. To. Oh, no, this is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for oh, obstruction okay. of justice, do you, we boy? Oh man! Right. Obstruction. The no, they don't let you skip the goons. Skip. I'm not shocked. <laughs> we could be. It's you some good ten cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Yeah, this is ready for this? He hits yeah. him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, the guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Ooh. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. Yeah. Yeah, let us know if you find yeah, Bishop. The baby's hands. Guy McCaffrey can be a baby hands. Hands. Have a problem. I'm only going to warn you They're once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, this smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. Mm -hmm. And we don't waste our time on small fry. Yeah. Like you stay fry. away from Bishop, and you stay away from The whole me. potato, if you will. I'm a big potato man myself. Now run along back to your boss <laughs> so we can pat you on the head and tell our you what good boys you are. Our gravelly voices are... Yeah, the cutscene is a little annoying that we have to rewatch that. Yeah. Uh, but I just didn't... I'm now more ready to kill people. Yeah. There's like a nice little I don't think they like the touch talk, Oh shit, get us out of here. Evade or subdue the mobsters. Oh! oh no. Oh my god, there are more mobsters. Oh, you oh, didn't kill that. that one. Did yeah. you just see that? Yeah, you yeah. subdued the crap out of the that tires. Guy. Keep your foot down. They really don't want anybody getting a bishop before they do. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! Yes. Those guys are dead. <laughs> yeah. Let's see him chase us now. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Nice. Oh, we're just gonna leave nice. that flaming car here. <laughs> you got a couple of dead guys in there. Don't worry about it. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off. We've really slaughtered those people. Hey, <laughs> it was. We killed them horribly Captain twice. Really yeah, it was once. Like we're the, the only two ones who want to alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. Do you, you think don't you don't have to go back to the life you know, like Dan? I think we can just go over there. Yeah, let's we'll just go to set. Let's set. Yeah, we're trying to apprehend him, so. I like how we just casually just killed a bunch of people and then left. We back. LA! Um. Wait. Oh! I didn't. I just accidentally stumbled into a thing. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You liked that, wouldn't you? Yes. You guys have a gun. Give it up! Sorry, no, we're trying to get to the end of this, but... No, it's all good. Let's chase this underpants man. Parkour! Yes! Put your hands in the air! Parkour. parkour. Yeah. This is great chase music. Don't make me chase you! I do. Too late for that. You don't understand. Are you Someone me? has to stop the oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Well, he's not encumbered by pants. So yeah, you know what? That's yeah. But I would imagine there's a lot of glass in his feet right now. Oh, Farewell, cruel world. No. Oh wow! Oh, I didn't really not need let to him see that. I really let him flop on that. I was fine. Okay. I mean, I don't feel like I could have caught him any faster. Yeah. Well, case closed. Look at they're just like, this was fucking weird. Weird, man. Yeah. I mean, like, I caught, I was going as fast, like, I didn't yeah. like, it stops. No, I think they just wanted to take you on a haunting scene lit. Uh, yeah. Alright, well. Oof. It turns out. In the life of a water. cop is dark. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Well, I'm sorry for everyone at home. <laughs> Who had to experience for that. Dark yeah. Stuff. Well, again, it goes into the interesting elements we were kind of talking about with the storytelling. We're like, that's yeah, just in there. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's ask why that's it. I mean, it's just a yeah. little... Yeah. It's just a little haunting scene like, to you know, remind you that, like, the goes. day of a cop's life is in dark. Hard, really. Yeah. Right. And also, that classic Beyonce slash one current lesson. Sometimes it just lives. <laughs> you can do it, you can try as hard as you can. It's the best. Wow. Okay, let's Yay. finish up this case. Let's I wrap have this up. Been to this mall. This is a great side. Yeah. There's a slippery bastard now. You bet. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! Oh yes, it is just the old intolerance. Yeah. Like that is, yeah. That's wow. absolutely what it is. I'm yeah. glad they just went ahead and did it. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So, wait, you, this is a reference to Intolerance? No. Uh-huh. No. We're trying to They were saying this is, your, is the Intolerance. Oh. Yeah. They were running. Yeah, they were running. Oh, yeah. yeah. You think it's going to have the same ending? <laughs> oh, I hope not. Oh, man, it's like a weird uh, parallel yeah. thing. Yeah. They're setting you up. Oh, it's lost steps. Yeah. That's a lot of stairs. You also it's us or McAfee's boys. Your choice. I didn't do anything. Wow, this level in Laura Croft is. Uh, oh! 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 This is some real 
Central West. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you bet. Man, oh, cool. we were getting oh, like oh. Don't get too close to the kick. <laughs> We've learned. We did learn that valuable lesson. We did learn that valuable lesson last time. That's right. There's like only so far you can go. We are. We're getting into a classic standoff here, though. Historically, one of the largest, but yeah, I mean it's only so big. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh my God! Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I I I was trying to pivot, but no. I think it wants you to be like on track. Dang. That's wild. Mark Bishop, stop! Oh, RFPD! Right. Oh, thank God we're going to this so. I think a lot of people die at this. Yeah, I, that would check out accurately. I mean, I thought it was doing fine. Yeah. What's with those we're trying to yeah. help you, Bishop. What a weird slip. Watch out for kicks! Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I guess he's got to get Tiny ladder. Oh my god, yeah, this is Tiny just like the weirdest climbing. ladder climbing and I love it every time. It's us or McAfee's boys. This Your is choice. probably not an option. Anything. But can you well done. Bishop, that's enough. Seriously. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the air, Bishop. Move yeah. another inch in. Yeah, you're Bishop, tolerance. you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. Jesus, that's hard. If you to found me, then McAfee's goons will too. Immaculate. Oh, we need. We need to get out of here. Yeah, you're screwed, dude. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Detective, they're trying to kill me. Kick him. Last chance to back the hell down. <laughs> I shot his hat. You shot his hat clean off. That was cool. Mwah. Kaffee doesn't Beautiful. make the rules. You hear me? He's going down the stairs. Yeah. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! Wait, downstairs. pick up weapon! He's down pick there. up he weapon! If my downstairs is getting shot, I would probably address that. Whoa! That's the good stuff. There's no way out of here. I thought you said oh, you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What? Is this really the best McAfee's got? This way. Oh my god, they're everywhere. It might be worth picking up that guy's gun. See it? This is worse than a war zone. I can't hit him from this You're distance. You're pretty brave for a kid, man. Oh. Yeah. I need to get this gun. Yeah, that big old gun. You have to get me out nice. of here. Nice. Oh. Oh. This is insanity. Nice. For the love of God, how many are there? It's really fast. Hey! I'll kill every last one of you if oh, I have barrels. to. Barrels? Can you make them explode again? Ooh. I don't want to die ah. here. Ah. I just shot you there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Oh. No. The cool. controls are sometimes not super intuitive. Ah, uh, <laughs> gotcha. This is all balanced.
This weird ladder climbing only gets better with this gun. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> He's just dragging a gun through wood and iron. It's really... Oh, it's really a sight to behold. Get him over here! I'll cover you! Come on! The cavalry's here! The uh -oh. barrels at the base of the elephant column. They're full of gasoline. Shoot them! Quick! Oh, yes, the barrels shoot the barrels. Weapons on the ground now. Oh. There are the barrels. Uh, Come on, let's keep moving. What we got? To the car. Yes. Follow me. Yeah. Two guys. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. erstwhile film producer an all-around piece of shit catches a fast ticket to quentin for statue rape and attempted murder so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls mm. that is justice for capital j detective phelps felt such a reputation i'm not gonna be able yeah. to yeah. Yeah. yeah you're getting promoted go on Whoa. get your new assignment it was good work nice this. dude you got nice. promoted look at yeah. me yeah Look at that grin! Look at that grin! That promoted grin. Let's shake like dudes do. Like... <laughs> did the bro hug exist in the 40s? Uh... I feel like it did, but only behind closed doors. <laughs> I feel like it was not something that you did in front of the... Oh, Vice Guy's back. Hold up. Oh, the worst jacket. No. Yeah, it's real bad. No. Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Peach is a hard color. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Hey! Hey! All the creepers take their friends to... Yeah, I guess we'll just see the story sequence. Deal. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? Well, Dick. This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. So like what table. hot dame is he going to fall what in love with on stage? What do you think we want? <laughs> the bar like yeah. chumps? Get a table ready for you. Then. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next set. Yes. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa, Elsa while there's... That all checks the out? You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. He was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize 
that's what he meant to me. Of course I did. You oh, have no idea. idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident. This is a pretty cool scene. Like, the oh, motion God, cap's awesome. Yeah. Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. Why would I that was what you got promoted to, crime fighter yeah, extraordinaire. Yeah, crime fighter extraordinaire. Yeah, no, it's all right. Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Who do you think ah! you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't uh, you ever forget to class with this. me again. No! Do you hear me? Well, I mean, we're, it's pretty clear this guy's a dog. Yeah. That's business. I mean, he's got the tie for it. Louis, help and me here. Just truly we'll have to give him something. Oh, God, it's so bad. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy oh, fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. Oh, no. So, what about that drink, boys? We need it now. And on that. Hmm. Sure, I know. Do we get any injuries? Hey! hey. hey. Paved with good intentions. We got another great. We meant a chance to give McAfee's goons what for? What oh, for? Uh, we could have killed them earlier. Give them a little what for. Ah. Kill him later. Well, that was a pretty fun sequence, and that was fun. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the full cam. Woo! Cool. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Woo! So, okay. Um, so, for our our group um, and everyone watching, um, what did you guys think? I mean, what was the story experience like playing these little episodic little chapters? It was fun. Yeah. yeah like it. it was it was episodic, but it was also additive. It has that, um, you know, a strong serialized TV show also needs those episodic elements. Yeah. And the game yeah. has that in spades. It has those case to case stories to keep you going and the things yeah. that spring up all it has those different layers of story to it that I think are really um we did we did do great with the questions. Five yeah. out of eleven by the no, way, guys. Not, not our best work. But we found the clues. We are we are very sleuthy. You know what? It's what? kind of very Scooby Doo where it's like yeah. the questions aren't great, but by the <laughs> end the trap got set off, it's fine. It was clues. Old developers. We figured it out. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, um, thank you for these watch times, guys. It's so cool to see you guys are watching. Yeah, so this is really cool. I really enjoy, um, yeah, it, we're, we're being promoted to homicide, but yeah, I enjoy the episodic nature. I like that they constantly are building on each other, but there's also another piece of the storytelling, or so to speak. It's so, when I say storytelling, there's a lot of different things, meanings, but the game is constantly trying to teach you the conventions of the game as well. Yeah. They're trying to get you, they, they're slowing you, and the missions are getting harder and harder and more complicated so they can get you used to the game mechanics of it all. Yeah. And they do a really great job. I mean, I know we were talking a lot about texture and all that kind of work of what goes into these stories and playing with the stereotypes and the like. They do a very good job as well at establishing who you feel good and bad about right at the beginning of this game. Like, mm -hmm. or right at the beginning of these missions. Because immediately we felt bad for that little girl. They give you one piece mm -hmm. of evidence where you are like, nope, every, everything from here on out, there's a nice color. So that as we go through and we're starting to kill mob guys, we're doing that, we're not questioning as much. And it's just, it's really tight storytelling in that way. Because you're doing a lot in a very small amount of time. Mm. Yeah, it takes a lot to set up villains that you don't feel bad about killing necessarily. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really take a lot within the realm of a noir or, or things yeah. like that. But the game does go out of its way to be like, okay, here are these people. Yeah, I like exactly. to give you those little tastes of the characters. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a really fun... Um, I mean, that mission at the end was just awesome. Like, it's mm -hmm. cool to get these little set pieces. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it just makes you feel like you're in an action movie, and you, you're obviously setting up to be fun. So it's just, like, it's a cool mix of gameplay, because I yeah. really do love the thinking process of going through these steps and things like that. Yeah. But the game is looser and more of an open world. There's more gameplay than, like, say, Detroit Become Human, which obviously we've played in the past, and something that we've talked about, which is a little more, like, rigid storytelling... Um, well, not rigid storytelling, but more rigid. Um, you guys might want to flip those off because they're kind of fun. Um, which is is more you know meant to guide you, and if you fail something, you just actually change the story and you keep going. Like it's not really it's, right. it's more forgiving. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> oh, yes, your grandmother is right. He's a very, yeah, that's not, uh, we're not happy about any of that. And so I'm hoping like that. that we get to get our vengeance in a future mission. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Rule's got a real uh, future nemesis vibe. Yeah. Um, Correct. He's a dirty cat. Yeah, and you know, we've talked about this before, but this game is definitely playing like with the, the harsh areas of the era, era the racism, the, yeah. the the sexism. It's putting it out in the open, and then it's it's putting your character. I think your guy, your character is a decent person, and mm. with the exception of when I'm running over people's feet, uh, I'm generally a decent person. That's definitely person sometimes bad. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's definitely like an interesting testament to storytelling when, like, again, you are dealing with these kind of situations using. Like, when you're telling a story that involves, like, racist and sexist, you know, like, overtones and stuff like that, especially because it is based in history, I like the way that they've effectively used it, again, to villainize people. Mm -hmm. Like, they've really done a good job of being, like, this is the villain, this is how this is going to go down, you do not feel bad for this guy. Yeah. Like, it's kind of, it's shooting Nazis, like we were talking about before, which yeah. is kind of nice. Well, at like, the same time, they set the tone of what the acceptable level of racism and sexism are yeah. in the 30s with the partner. Yeah. Uh, and the chats in the cars. So you get yeah. that, at, by acceptable level, I mean just sort of for the time, not for yeah. Right. humanity. Yeah. But, but, but uh, uh, you get that, it's heightened in Earl, mm. because he's a shittier guy. Yeah. It, you know, he lets it out. That's, this, that's the, the thing I find interesting, the sort of, um, the hidden under the surface, learned, yeah. Racism and sexism of, of the partner versus the the active indulgence in it. Yeah, indulgence and, and yeah, and belief of superiority yeah. of the, the vice guy. Oh, yeah. um, He's a creepy dude. I can't wait for you to shoot him in the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's gonna be really nice. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Um well well very cool. Um yeah, I, I think this is a cool game. Now I think we're we might I'm gonna announce the schedule soon. This week I'm going to be playing um, Layers of Fear for sure. We're going to finish that game because we've just got the last bit and it's terrifying and I'll be screaming a lot. And uh, and then we will come back to L.A. Noir soon. I might decide to take a little, like, try some things. or I'm just trying to figure out the format because the game is very long and if we keep going through L.A. Noir, we're going to be going for another two months and I'd like to, like, mix it up a little bit. So uh, we're going to finish L.A. Noir. There will be L.A. Noir streams. I'm just going to kind of mess with the format a little bit. Um, nice. But I think you can reasonably expect, uh, you know, another stream Saturday, and we'll keep going with that. Um, nice. Cool. So I will um, keep uh, giving you um, information about those. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and you will... Mostly Twitter is where I announce most of my streams, and that's the best place to kind of find out uh, what's happening on this channel. Uh, but you'll also, you know, get various other things. Uh, I thank you to all the subscribers who are here, all the people who contribute to the stream. You're awesome. Um, you're really helpful. Thank you to my mods, Nodabot and X Matrix Gamer, who are in with us today. Um, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, this was a blast. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys were able to join us. I'm gonna put their info up on the screen again. Oh, thank you. So once again, this is Michael. That's me over Rock's head there. Yeah. And uh, and then this is Melinda. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, this is their podcast. Yes. Having a friend for dinner. Having a friend for dinner. Uh, yes, we have a few months left. Uh, we just we're halfway through season three as mm -hmm. of now. Yep. We're uh, we're rounding the bend on the end of the series. It's Indeed. Very uh, yeah. So yeah, please join us. Invite your friends to dinner, etc. Indeed. Don't eat them. Don't eat them. That's if you yeah. are, prepare them well. Hello, Cheyenne. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm so glad that uh, so many of you guys have, have joined us on our, our stream. It's, this is a fun place. I love bringing on different people, getting their perspectives as we play these games, and I'm going to keep doing that, and I hope you guys keep showing up for that. But yes, don't eat people. It's not kosher. That's a very good point, Ender Blaze 42. Unless they are kosher. Unless they are. They might be. Separate thing. Yeah. You never know until you try. Um, any, any, <laughs> any final thoughts on you guys? Uh, it was asking the stream what my favorite quantum particle is. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. like, that oh shoot. But I if you have an answer. I, I like a chronoton. Cause it's fake. Nice. It means there's going to be time travel. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's, that's my, entirely, entirely that's fair. That's my guy. Nice. Uh, gluons. I just like the name. They're so gluey. Nice. Uh, I don't see that question. I think my neutrino is. has a sort of spin that I like. Do you get it? Um, anywho. Yeah. 
Uh, I scared a couple people. There we oh, go. That's, that's good. That's, uh, you know, if I get if I get one thing out of any interaction with any individual whatsoever, if it's fear. Well, I mean, it's accurate to the tone of our show. Indeed. And my life. <laughs> I, I, Sparkarian. I like yeah. croutons. <laughs> Ooh, I do Ooh, like a crouton. A yeah. crouton. Yeah, that's a good one. Are you a, are you a Parmesan man mm-hmm. or like a plain crouton? Salad talk coming next week. <laughs> yeah. next we're, week we're just going to sit around and eat salads. We're mm-hmm. going to go to Chopped. We're going to mm-hmm. talk about it. Yeah. They chop the salad in front of you. Mm-hmm. Very scary. Shane, uh, we're, we're going to do streams this week. I have I usually will schedule them tomorrow, so I will uh, I will get back to you guys on my next stream very soon. But follow me here and there, and you'll know. Um, most likely, I will be streaming next Saturday, most likely for another one, in, uh, another okay. featured stream. Um, cool. Well, I'm so glad you guys here. Uh, our slogan here is uh, is story analysis is sexy, and uh, mm. that's uh, it is. Uh, we had a good time today. Agreed. Um, thank you guys, everyone who, who hung out in the chat. Uh, we're going to do a raid, uh, so uh, shortly after this, we will jump to a uh, person who is a frequent supporter of the stream, and so I figure we will uh, surprise that person. Ooh, um, fun. And so if you guys want to just stick for a second, we'll do that. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for being at Yards. Thanks Game of Thrones Live, Pocket Ghoul, Garth of Arcarian, Max Guy. You guys are always regulars. Adwara, thank you so much. Under Blaze, 42, Fun Size Steph. I'm reading all your names. Um, and so I'm excited uh, to uh, have you. And thank you again to my mods, X Matrix Gamer, Not a Bot, who are here. Um, and uh, I just appreciate uh, you know you guys for sticking around and enjoying the content. Uh, this will be up on YouTube in 24 hours, youtube.com slash rodbot. And uh, I also have recently uploaded the Layers of Fear stuff and the previous uh, uh, previous Selling Nor streams. This is your first Selling Nor stream. Um, there is um, a previous Selling Nor stream. Uh, the first one, which was with Amelia Rose Blair and uh, and Melissa Klein, and then our second one, uh, which was with. Uh, our guests that week, and I'm blanking at the moment because in my brain. I watched is... that one. They were very good. I can't remember the names oh. now either. Uh, I, I mean, I know them. They're my friends, and I'm literally just. Oh yeah, Liz and Liz and Sam who were on my stream last week. So sorry, and like losing track of time. Um, but great. Uh, please check those out, and uh, thank you guys for being here. We're gonna go to the end card, and uh, we're gonna do a raid. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.